Hi everybody, and welcome to Three Sheets of the Mouse. My name is Bill McKim, I'm up here in the Control Center, and in just a couple of minutes you're going to be out there listening to an adult-themed Disney podcast with content and language that may not be suitable for younger passengers. We're ready. Oh, great, well, Sherry says we're ready, so we'll see you out there on the podcast. Good luck. Now that is phenomenal. I love shaking my booty. I've never been to the Edison. I know it's some sorted, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues. London just is deliciously squared. Green free Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 111 of Three Sheets the Mouse. We are four average guys with love for all things Disney. I'm Scott, and joining me on this week's show are three guys who forgot to wake up the Glee Club. Tim. You know, if you ever wanted to know what it's like to run a 5K in Darth Vader pajamas in the rain, don't do it. (laughs) Adam. (laughs) Just for setting the record straight here, I was not even born in 1971. No, you were born in 1970. <laughs> that makes you a fetus. <laughs> well, he was a fetus in 74, too, so. <laughs> and Mikey. I like fetuses. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I, I got two of them, and they are size 11s. <laughs> I walk on them. <laughs> oh, Cletus the fetus. Cletus the fetus. And joining us this week, fresh off the Kessel Run in just 11 parsecs, Kyle Ostrander. Welcome, Kyle. Hi. More like 111 parsecs, but I got it done. <laughs> you beat us. Hey, 111 parsecs, 111 <laughs> episodes. It's kismet today. There you go. There you go. <laughs> We're here to talk to you about Disney parks, Disney booze, and a little bit of debauchery in between. So sit back, relax, grab a tiki, 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 tiki rum, and enjoy the adult side of Disney with three sheets of the mouse. I feel like you had an overabundance of tiki's. Dare I say, a plethora of tiki's. I don't think, well, we, I don't think anybody but Stephanie has ever been on the show and drank rum. I uh, guarantee you, I've had it at some point. There's no, because no I, I think I made a lapu for the show at one point. Well, I, the drink I clearly remember you making is taking like 20 minutes to make like this <clears throat> frozen concoction that you didn't even like that much. That was the LaFou's brew. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I did. Yeah. I did make a back scratcher one episode, which is pretty good. No, that and I've drank the um, what is it called? You, uh, yeah, you've had the uh, Zacapa. Yeah, I had the Zacapa a few times. A number of times. I've been drinking uh, since three o'clock yesterday, so. But Probably if you it. if you do want to grab a tiki 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 rum over at Trader Sam's, you can, or you could drink it at home because Mikey, we're going to bring back some drink of the month. It like is about one. damn time. I, I know, know we... I know. But why tiki tiki whatever rum? Because I started. Even... I, I'm just happy we're falling back off the wagon. <laughs> were we ever on the wagon? <laughs> No, January. Well, we, we have we haven't wagon. done drink of the month. I mean, oh, it's, it's it's been, been a shit a, run. Yeah, we may as well be. A, yeah. We oh, it's probably be been close to a hundred episodes. Show up and yank us off the wagon. We Sky we've we've probably had a hundred episodes since we've done a drink of the month, but we are going to bring it back. So we're going to bring bring out the tiki 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 rum. Oh Jesus! And yeah, <laughs> he's 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 going to say it every freaking time. Just, and I'm going to tell it you, don't fight it. Just let it happen. I'm, I'm Let's gonna tell you how to make the tiki 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 rum. Stop it! Stop it! You're making my eye twitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your you're gonna grab your favorite cocktail shaker. Okay. Okay. You're gonna put in two ounces of Pirate XO Gold Rum. That's what Trader Sam's uses for this drink. Then you're gonna take one and a half ounces of cream of coconut, not coconut cream milk or anything like that. It's cream of coconut. You'll find it over near the margarita mixers and all that stuff. Then you're gonna take an ounce and a half of pineapple juice and one ounce of orange juice and put those all into your favorite little cocktail shaker. Maybe one with the three sheets of the mouse logo on it. I don't know. Mikey, that's up to you. You're going to put some crushed ice in there. You're going to shake it all up 
and then you're going to pour Turn that. Turn it all around. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say it if you didn't, Mikey. <laughs> and that's what Turn, it's all about. Okay. Turn it all around and then you drink pour the that into your... drink the ticky 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 rum. <laughs> <laughs> pour that into your favorite glass. Maybe a magical meltdown glass. And then, uh, and then you're going to take some freshly ground nutmeg, put that on top. Uh, some so, cinnamon and fresh mint to garnish. <laughs> so at what point does your dignity go away? Is that, What's that? After, is that before or after the pineapple? It's before we click record. <laughs> we check that away. at the door, right. man. Okay, I could, I could deal with rum in a sense, but coconut, anything? Well, it's no. essentially yeah, a pina coconut. colada. It's, it's yeah, like okay. a pina colada mixed with a pink. Do you not like pina coladas? I do not like pina coladas. Run them 5Ks in the rain? Or, I knew or that was coming to. <laughs> I bet you're into yoga. I'm in DDP yoga. Look at me. Do you, do you cook <laughs> over propane? By golly, no, I don't. <laughs> do you watch Star Trek at midnight? No. In your Darth Vader Stop cape? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> I do have a cape. <laughs> this Mikey. is the show that you look for. Go to iTunes and subscribe. <laughs> wow. I like that. I did the whole yeah. fucking verse. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> There's your ring. I was just playing along. I thought it was just getting hazed, but that's all right. You know what? Well, Someone write no, down the lyrics, and uh, Mikey's going to sing that on episode 112. You asked for that one. He'll do it. I, I'm, I'm going to be busy that episode. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Uh, I will karaoke yeah, so, that shit. So if you want to make the tiki 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 rum, <laughs> please do so. Mikey will put up a little post with a with all the ingredients and a, a picture of the oh, drink yeah. so you know what to look for. And uh, sure, and we'll have our our first drink of the month in many 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 months. Well, the first of 2019. Let's just yes, go ahead. Yes, the first and say of that. 2019. That that so, sounds about right. Hey, it's a drink Scott. of the quarter. What was the last episode we had a drink of the month on? Quick. Did I stop oh. him? No, no, it's probably... 86. No. no it's earlier than way earlier. You know uh, what? It's probably uh, like episode 6 when we did Reggie's Revenge. Yeah, it had... No, oh, because me. you've done Boom Tower. But that's, yeah. not a dr- that's not drink it, of the month. Where it, was, it, was, it, was, it was definitely BT. Room. It was definitely BT. Yeah. And it was definitely during J.O. Yeah. Joan Osborne. <laughs> what if um, God so, you don't want to. So look, that's all right. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you make the uh, the tiki 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 rum. Oh, stop Did it! God that damn it! Oh my God! God. <laughs> and uh, and that. post your pictures over to our Facebook group, facebookcom slash group slash three sheets. Uh, that's where you can find all the drinking and the debauchery and all the fun that we have on uh, on Three Sheets Nation. And Kyle's really bad jokes. And yeah, and Kyle's really bad jokes. Scott, what are you drinking tonight? Well, tonight if he's not drinking a tiki 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 rum. I'm going to punch him in his face. <laughs> no, no. Tonight in my in my Gaston's Tavern, Stein, is there is no tiki 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 rum. But I was expecting you to be drinking a tiki 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 rum. Yeah, because normally <laughs> when you do a drink of the month, you have it in your cup. I do. Tonight, uh, I do not have a tiki 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 rum in my. Gaston Stein, I do have a Kona Kona Brewing Company Gold Cliff IPA, brewed with real tropical pineapple. As opposed to fake tropical pineapple. Yeah, and they brew with them pineapples, they, you know, coming out of Ohio. That's right. (laughs) These are tropical-ass pineapples. These are from Hawaii. Hey, those pineapples that come out of Ohio will cut your ass. (laughs) Especially if they're from Cleveland. Yep. Uh, Mikey, what do you got tonight? I'm sipping on a little bit of Damor, 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 Damor 12. God. It's contagious. We, I say it all the time. That is probably one of my favorite bottles of whiskey. Of all you time. You say it a lot. I do. I, I, I preach the Damor. Uh, Kyle, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you what you were drinking. Some Kentucky, 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 <laughs> Kentucky bourbon. God <laughs> um, damn it. Uh, Bell Mead Reserve. Oh, 128.5. That's good stuff. I, I about to not get this, but my liquor store guy's like, you might want to try this. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It, was, it was between this and Elijah, Ke- Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Oh, both and are really good. Yeah, so he's like, you might want to try this one. It's okay. We drank we drank Barrel Proof on one of the BSEA uh, short pours, and 
Brent was Brent was hesitant. He's like, well, it's just Elijah Craig. Dude, that is some Dude. damn good whiskey. Uh, that's some good stuff. Yeah. Tim, what do you got tonight? Well, I think the uh, Disney crud has hit me a week late. So I'm okay. trying to fight back the Disney scurvy, and I've got an Aloha screwdriver. Ooh. Pineapple juice, orange juice, and vodka. Mostly vodka. <laughs> it, you know what? It's disinfected. Yep. Got to fight the crud. That's right. Adam, what about you? Well, I'm not even going to attempt to do all the <laughs> with this the tiki shit with this one. So I have a Trogues Bourbon Ballage Troganator, and it's a double bock. A trogi, 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 trogi beer? You see, that's why you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right there, that was the reason why. You just know. It doesn't work. But it's a double bock, and it's really fucking good. Uh, twice the bock, twice the fun. Crickets. Double the bock, double the fun? Double the bock, double the fun would have been better. <laughs> Um. Yeah. So, uh, look, you guys have been on a Trogues kick lately. Well, we got these. We got these from the Millers right before we saw them. Mm -hmm. Before we went down to Disney, and Todd lost his toe now. But that's a story for a little bit later. All right. Well, speaking of losing toes, uh, Tim, Adam, and Kyle, all just all just got. (laughs) Yeah, that is you. Everybody just turned around. <laughs> like, oh, wait, should I be doing this too? <laughs> uh, you guys just got back from Disney, doing some running, uh, exercising, your jogging, whatever you guys like to do on your on your spare time, running the Star Wars races. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it was a little. <laughs> it was a little stupid of us, but yeah, <laughs> a little. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, which three idiots also just signed up for the dopey? Yeah. yeah. The same three <laughs> so, Well, this this was your longest set of or series of races that you've ever done over the course of a weekend. Correct. Yes. And For it's me. about to get even better. Wait. Or worse. I'm not sure if that's no, worse. No, Kyle's or better. showing the number three. So third time. Kyle's oh, this is your third time doing time. it. Yeah. First castle run though. Oh, okay, so you're three times as stupid as, as the rest of everyone else. <laughs> yeah. And I'll get you more dumber with dopey. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So look, we wanted to talk a little bit about the Star Wars races, talk about what you guys did, pre- how you prepped for it, because these, this was what, tw- 20, 26 miles almost? No, it was 20, almost. I think it was 24, <laughs> well if you don't count the virtual. It was like no, let's count the, count, well, the, the virtual, oh, count the virtual. Count the virtual, okay, so let me yeah. do math, hold on, let me, let me, not, undo, not Scott math though. 30 no, don't do Scott math. Thirty-five. I'm stupid. It's thirty-five. Thirty-five. Miles. So, so this one was thirty-five point five miles. That's a lot of How miles. How many kilometers is that? Yeah, you well, do. I'm not that. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm part of the soccer education system. Don't even ask that. So that's, that's, <laughs> no. There are there are Kyle Ostrenders in Canada. Maybe they can ask no. or they can answer that question. How long is that in Celsius? <laughs> <laughs> the purple waffles. <laughs> So look, it's not a blue uh, waffle. Let's Purple let's uh, let's start with the uh, let's start at the beginning of the Star Wars races. You guys got down there. Uh, how was the expo? Now you've done you've done expos in the past. Oh, this how, expo was hellacious. Yes. How was this expo compared to the food it and wine? It was expo? Chaos. the most disorganized yeah. expo I've been to yet. It was stupid, hands down. Yeah. Um, when we first started doing the Run Disney events, you shall you used to have to get your bib. And then you were allowed to go into the expo. I don't think that's happening anymore, and I think they're just letting anybody in to purchase whatever they want. Oh. So it, it's not exclusive to run Disney anymore. If you just happen to show up at the expo and you want a spot inside, you just get to walk in. Because the line was ridiculous. And it just, it was bad. We got there Thursday morning when the expo first opened. And we picked up our bibs, and then we actually gave up on trying to get into the expo because the line was so long. Well, like, into the official merchandise room. Well, we got in, but... 
We won't talk about how we did this. <laughs> <laughs> we we went in. Uh, we just walked to the exit. Go on. Yeah. We, we walked to the exit with a cast member who was not paying attention to what we did. So. Was, was it a volunteer cast member or an actual cast member? I think it was a no, volunteer. This, they don't no, this was an, no, this was an actual cast member because this was in the SPN. Yeah, he wasn't really paying attention. He just wasn't paying attention. He was distracted by somebody talking to him and asking him questions, so we kind of just walked around. He did turn to look at us, but then we were just by then we were already inside. So I guess he figured, oh, "What the hell?" He's like, nah. "This is but, this is above my pay grade." Exactly. <laughs> that was another thing too. The merchandise, the Run Disney merchandise this year wasn't really. There's nothing that jumped out and said I had to have. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, is there anything good at this one? There were a few things I would have bought, but the problem is, at least for me with the expo, I don't want to get a shirt that said I did it until I've done yeah, it. That's a good jinx. And they're yeah, stupid yeah. too, man. Yeah. I don't. I don't like the uh, solid color on the front, whatever color. And then like the weird gray, nineteen eighty six Jer- New York Mets jersey. I did it gray <laughs> yep. on the back, and it just looked stupid. It looked put together like last minute. Like oh shit, we forgot to put shirts together. You know, let's put something together. That's. I like a lot. The, the cups were cool. The Travis cups were kind of cool. Yeah. But again, I just a lot. I just. There wasn't there anything there that I needed needed. And it, it was it was packed full of full like full uh Chewbacca like Star Wars running suits, I guess. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you know Han Solo top and Han Solo bottom. You, you run like Chewbacca and burn your ass up. Yeah. But it was yeah, the, you can buy that stuff online anywhere. It, it seems like the actual exclusive stuff to the Star Wars Rival Run Week Rival Run Weekend. I'm getting a little drunk here. Was <laughs> at a boy. <laughs> Welcome to the show. And what's the ship? What's the deal with those little shoes? Little shoe keychains everywhere. Yeah, was, I don't get I those. Don't get those, those are no. I don't how like how big's the shoe? Like it's like a couple a little, inches big. Yeah, I don't know. Keychains. If you were yeah. around, if you were around in the eighties, you remember. Oh these yeah, 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 yeah. Scott wasn't around in the eighties. Uh, I was. That's oh. a point. He wasn't born in seventy one. <laughs> Neither was I. Um, I wasn't. Yeah, that's not going to fit in your pocket. Not too easy. Yeah. Next, <laughs> all right. Um, so, so the 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 expo was good. You picked up your bibs. Uh, was there any special drinks? Like uh, I remember at Food and Wine, you found like champagne somewhere. It was, they had the same ones, all the same drinks. Hit- Wait, was the Space Dust there? Yes, though, for Food yes. and Wine. Was they it? Had- yeah, they had I don't that, think uh, this Space Dust IPA there was. I think was the there big for one then was like the, the the pineapple. Yeah, drink. Yeah, that was the other pineapple one. They had. Beer that-, that that was the Parsec. Yeah, that was or, the other yeah, one. They, they called it a Parsec, yeah. but it was some, called something they else. They just changed the name. I think okay. it's the one that, that no one liked. It was, like a, it was a cider. It's like a pineapple cider. Oh, and oh it, no. James made me Oh, no. His. That we had That we had actually. That wasn't that was even outside. in the building. That was, the that was outside from outside. the beer cart. Okay, yeah. That's okay. That's what I was thinking. But now the third-party merchandise tent was expensive. Oh, it always is, though. Where, who, what was there? Anything good? I bought a pair of sunglasses. And I had to buy a pair of compression socks, and then I realized I left my headbands at home, and it, it, I spent a small fortune there, because yeah. that's how I run. I forget everything at home and say, oh shit, I need this, and it's going to cost me twice as much now. Forgot. Oh no, I really did. I could. I had them out, and they just <laughs> never made it into the bag. <laughs> I also managed to take yeah, my actual, ankle like, brace and not my knee brace. So yeah, yeah I, I was a hot mess. Lacking. Yeah, yeah, it just I have a it's funny, I find I found the the wine and dine one a lot better. And I think it was just because it wasn't so geared, it had to be geared towards Star Wars. Yeah. It gave them a little more freedom to do different things with it and have a little more fun with it. Yeah. It it, it sounds like everything um, looking at the pictures, everything was basically a Star Wars theme or Star Wars geared, and nothing deviates from that. Which is fine, because that's what the race is themed around. Now, was there, like, like you said, you had to buy a headband and some compression socks. Was it just, like, normal stuff, or was it all Star Wars stuff? No, it was normal, no, it was normal stuff. stuff. Okay, so at least they got that going. Because Todd had to buy some, too. They were I should have some. Black. I can, you know, I can't run in them. I have to wear them for recovery. I cannot run in them. Mm-hmm. But they're great for recovery. 
Especially if you get shin splints. Or if I'm your feet swell after. I'm not the kind of guy that moves a whole lot, so I don't really know what they're <laughs> for. I was about to say, I, I have I've no idea what you're talking about. I've seen my wife struggle to put them on, and no part of that looks like it would uh, cancel they're out the benefit. So, they're so comfy when you put them on. And basically, mm-hmm. a lot of runners will get the blood pooling in their legs after a race. Well, it's water. It's not really blood. Well, yeah, sometimes your blood, too, and, and your legs the will swell glycogen. up. glycogen. Yeah, your, your feet will swell up. So that stops that from happening and keeps you walking pain free, for the most part. I'm all swollen up, so it don't matter. I need, I need just a compression bodysuit, I guess. It, they make that. Those, that they yeah, do. they're they're called Spanx. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've, I've already worn my wife's pants to Disney once. I ain't doing it twice. Some people call them Spanx. Charity? I call them Spanx. Uh, Mikey, I <laughs> don't. Know, I don't know about that. I I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. I think we'll get you in some women's pants again. I don't I'll, think so. I'll up the ante this time. <laughs> I bet you we will. Um, so, let, look, let's talk a little bit about the Rival Run 5K uh, <laughs> presented by Otterbox. One word. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, I think it went past moist. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, way past moist. This looked like running on Dagobah. This was awful. Or Camino. <laughs> it was so... And it was so unorganized. Well, no. I, I can't say it was disorganized. The problem was is that there was lightning in the area. Mm-hmm. And because you're running through these open areas, and there's a lot of metal and a lot of art, just things built around so that you have some entertainment on the course, they decided to evacuate the pens pretty much where you wait. So we're all waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and it's drizzling on and off, and the race is supposed to start at 6 or 5.30. I don't remember which one it is. It's supposed to start at 5.30. 5.30 comes and goes. It's closer to 6. And then they finally say we have to evacuate the area. So we all kind of get told we have to go someplace else because y'all can't stay here. They try to evacuate everybody to buses. Oh, boy. Slight problem with that. There weren't enough buses to get all the people into because people will drive in. So when they realized there weren't enough buses, they sent everybody who didn't get on a bus all the way back to the Epcot entrance. Oh, that's all the way across the parking lot. Yeah, and halfway yes. there, it started to pour. So Oops. yeah, we get over there, and th- my real big issue, I mean, yes, things like this happen. It's not run Disney's fault. But the really hard issue I had with this was the communication was just missing. When they're yelling at you to check the website and the website's not giving you any information and they're telling you to, well, look at this. It, it just, the, the, nobody knew if they were going to call the race at some point. So there, n- nobody had a clue as to what was going on. That's not the first time that happened. I think that happened at Food and Wine Marathon, what, two or three years ago. Because I had a bunch of friends that were running in that and they basically were, <coughs> it was... On again, off again, canceled. Who knows what's going on? Eventually, they just canceled it. The 10K, though. That was, that was the last uh, nighttime race they did. Yeah. And then there was the modified race where they ran, they were supposed to run a half and they only ran a 10K. That's the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, they called the Wine Dine Splash Marathon or some shit yeah. like that. Now, you, do you think this this breakdown of communication maybe stems from the fact that it's you know you got Disney with Misfit? No, no, it's all, and that it's all they're Disney. not communicating it's all or at this point oh, because thought... you're, most of your volunteers are not that involved with organizing the race. Yes, they're they're checking your bib to make sure you're going to the right spot, and they're handing out water or they're handing out power aid, but they're not actually controlling the run. Your Disney officials and your Disney people, it's sponsored by Misfit just as much as Spaceship Earth used to be sponsored by Siemens. Okay. okay. They give them money to get a name on something. We, gotcha. Carissa Calloway and I forget the other hosts, I mean, they work for Run Disney. So they it kept coming on the stage and on the loudspeaker and just telling the same thing. Check the website for latest info. And the website told us, dick. We actually how, got how long? How long were you guys in the corral for? We were in the corral for a good hour, and then we were out of the corral for another 45 minutes when we were huddled in Epcot. Mm-hmm. And the, the most news we got was from an Epcot security guard, because by the time the security guard started showing up, 
They started turning on all the metal detectors and everything. And he literally came up to us and said, as far as I know, last word that we got was they were checking the course for flooding and debris, and the race was going to happen at 7.15. No corrals, just go up to the start line and go. And and that kind of that'll work for the five k because it's not like a timed race. Oh no, 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 it sure does not. <laughs> not, not even you're trying to get that many bit. people through the starting line at one time, and the, it was just through Epcot, so there was tons of choke points. Yeah, it was a rough. So the the course for the uh, the five k started in the Epcot parking lot, ran around the kind of ring road that gets you into by Mexico, and then around World Showcase, back through International Gateway. Uh, future world over on the west. Okay, no, nope. no. Nope. The course was modified. Yeah, we went oh. into course test track. Rained. Yes. So we went in through test track, ran around, down through future world, and right out. We didn't do the little like. U oh, the U back. Yeah, we. Didn't yeah, do we that didn't do the U back. back. Okay. We we lost uh, what was it? A half. half a mile. But between walking from the corrals to. Yeah, you made up for it. <laughs> yeah, we did a ten k that day. <laughs> yeah. It, it was rough. And then you finish out by uh, guest relations. Uh, all in all, besides the moisture, how was the course? How was running through Epcot like that? Well, nobody ran. At least it, well, by the time we got to this, the starting line, nobody ran because you couldn't. There's just too many people. So it was basically I mean, a little walk through the park. Pretty much. It, it, it was a miserable walk through the park. I was, it, <laughs> you're, you're soaking wet, and it's just... It's the 5K, and you just want to get it done because you want the medal. The thing is with the 5K is that you have to finish to get your medal. Right. Yeah. It's the only race that I think you have to start and finish to get your medal. And there were people jumping in and just cutting in in between just to just start the race to get the medal. It, it was just – it was bad. <laughs> and then the hardest choke point is when we first got into Epcot. Where it was fight just, somebody, dude. It was, it was bad. It was super bad. It, it was like I, was I start body checking a lot of people that weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, don't condone, I, I do. I don't, <laughs> I don't condone violence, but damn, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> not a fun experience. Keep your elbows up. You couldn't. It's like it was. It was like it's the like, worst concert experience of your life with no music. With no exactly. It's like a Slayer mosh pit. I got you. I can handle myself. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> No, oh but, but everybody was super polite. But you're walking like fucking penguins. It's like rope. It's like rope dropping Pandora. <laughs> oh boy, uh, was there any? Now, when when you do the five k, were there any like characters? Anything like interactive on the the path? I don't remember if there were or not. I, I just wanted it over. <laughs> no, you know what? There wasn't because even the photo pass um, scenery that they set up, they were supposed to have characters. It was just empty, just the scenery. So people were just taking pictures of the backdrop. There was no... they pull all the characters out. Well, it was also a lot of it... The photo pass was pulled... Photo pass gets pulled when it rains yeah. like that. So they were gone. Now, what time What time did you guys eventually start? 7.15. And it was when they started letting everybody... By the time we got up to the start line, I don't know what time it was. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. And, it's not a time to race. And then about, about what time did you guys finish? Before I the park no opened? Idea. Yeah. We, I, we were done before the park opened. I don't remember. I really don't. I couldn't tell you. I was just over it. <laughs> I wasn't. I, mean, I, I have to give Liz and Todd a big shout out because we powered. Me and Liz just partnered up for most of the race because we lost everybody at one point, and we just walked together and talked each other through it. So it was awesome. I, was just yeah, I did have fun, and we were James. just making jokes, and we did have fun towards the end of it when we all got to Epcot, but. McCall, it, at it least it, at least it still sounded like a, a good time once you got in the park and got doing the walk. Yeah. All right. Well, um, th what day was that? That was Thursday. Friday. 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 All right. So that was Friday. Um, what else did you guys do that day? Did you relax. Get ready for the next race. Go to the expo. What the hell did I do? What? I don't. We dried up. Friday. And we. Oh, then we had the. Friday was the Yachtsman dinner, yep. wasn't it? Yeah, you yeah Friday Yachtsman. was Yachtsman. How was that? That's something I've always wanted to do. It was okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> How was the food? Food was good. Eh. I liked the food. It was okay. A few orders that uh, that came to our table came out incorrect. Mm -hmm. At a steakhouse, for me, that's a yeah. big issue. 
Yeah, look, I, I, I've said this time and time again. A steakhouse is about the service. The quality of food is, look, steak is steak. You better cook it right. It's all about the service. But it wasn't. Steaks were either over or under. Oh, so that's the was worst. Really? That was perfect. Yeah, there was a few, two, ska- two steaks that I know of that went back just at our table. Yeesh. So, I mean, and it's just, it's a steak. The server was awesome, but I don't know if I'd necessarily spend the money again to eat there. Yeah, we tried it, it's over, it's done, we don't need to do it again. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's because you had a big group or... Because, well, we went there, steakhouse. We went like two years ago and we had a, a great experience, so I'm just... It no, might be. The restaurant, yeah. though, as a whole, other than us, didn't seem that busy. Really? Okay. It was a super early reservation, yeah. I want to say. Yeah. It was like one of the first ones we can get. The Yachtsman's... It was either 5 or 5.30. The Yachtsman's regularly available pretty close to your, like, reservation dates. Like, I think... I I, I bet you that I could probably get this, like, a week out. We, oh, yeah. we we My buddy and I were down there, and we're trying to get... Uh, we got La Cellier on Saturday, on Sunday mm-hmm. night with no reservation, with no issues, and Yasmin was available. I don't know what it is recently. Like, all of the... Like, there's a lot of reservations that used to be 180-day reservations are now regularly available. It's the prices, man. It's that's the t- prices t- and steak burnout. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you're looking... Truth, I like Lasselia, I like Yasmin, but I do not want to eat that heavy meal day before, like, on a vacation day. Maybe the last day, but not Wednesday before, or, you know, Thursday before a race or something like that. I don't know. See, for me, I eat. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just, I'm one of those people who, it doesn't, throw it in front of me, I'm going to eat it, I'll be fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky like that. Tim can admit that. He's watched me do it. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll eat everybody. I'll eat a filet, you know, a small piece and of protein, I'll eat, and I'll eat, and I'll eat, I'll eat all carbs. And I'll be disgusting and eat anything put in front of my face. Yeah, that's English. what I do. We Human also garbage the, disposal. Uh, the pleasure of sampling some King Louie that night. I yes, saw thanks, that. Thanks to Miss Joan. Some Louie Trey. Yes. Oh, it's good. So good. Now, what was really cool was not just the... Uh, look, I'm sure the cognac is very good. But the experience that, that the sommelier brought out to that. Well, we had to watch it. Through the video because we were all the From, other side of the table. Yeah. We couldn't hear what was going on. <laughs> uh, but it was pretty cool. He like came out, explained exactly what you were drinking, poured it out of the crystal decanter, the Lelic crystal, yep. into a crystal jigger, and then poured it into your glass. Watch your whoa! whoa, whoa watch what your you language. Yeah. <laughs> whoa! Fun fact: the one that they, that you, <laughs> if you ever see one on display. <laughs> dude, great, great segue, dude. Great segue. <laughs> If you ever see one that's on display, <laughs> the only thing that's real about it is the decanter. The decanter. The, decanter. the liquid inside is colored water, and it's glued to the box. Really? And, it, and the cap is glued and shut. the cap is glued shut. You wouldn't, can't open wouldn't, it. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. I, this I, made my dinner, though. I'm not going to lie. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I mean, look, I, the only uh, I'm not a big cognac fan. I've had a few nice cognacs. The Martel XO is amazing. But I can't imagine what King Louis it, or King Louis Trey tastes like. It blows all that out of the water. I mean, that was the second time in my life I've ever had it, and it blows all of the cognacs out of the water. It was mm-hmm. so good. It was just amazing. Yeah, I mean, it could be very. I do not want a bottle of that in my house ever. It won't last. Well, it is three grand. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't care. Three grand, but the and we're probably is, down it in a night. Just say, hey, it's good. Yeah, Let's it, keep it, it. That's yes, that's, that's yeah. horrible. Like, what did we do? We just blew vacation money. It's too good to be in my house. Like, my it's dudes. too expensive and tastes way too good to be in my house. It, it's yeah. so smooth. It is. It is. Um, all right. So after after dinner the next day, Saturday, is the 10K. Yes. Yeah. All right. Better weather? Much, Much better weather. Yes. All right. So this one you guys started over at the uh, Magic Kingdom parking lot over by the fifth hole of the Palm Golf Course. If you say sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and by that, I mean the very, very far south part of the parking lot. Yes. Yeah, where, wherever uh, the Speedway used to be. Yep. Yes. Oh, we're, I, mi- we I miss the Speedway. I don't. You ever stay in the Poly? You don't miss the Speedway. I've never. Well, no, I've never stayed at the Poly. I, I've played golf at the Palm and Mag, and you can hear the Speedway going all day exactly. long. Exactly. There you go. We've only started staying at the Poly after they closed it, so. 
You got boats on one side, some dumbass thinks it's Kyle Petty on the other side. It's, no, it's, no. <laughs> well, and then some guy that thought he was Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah. <laughs> he said Kyle Petty. <laughs> like, not even Reggie's going to go Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> not even the good Petty. <laughs> And um, if, if this is this is the king. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Dick Petty. Apologize. <laughs> uh, but this well, one was this, this is where my hate, I, my hatred. I, I, I am I am from Podunk. So I don't watch that race and stuff. You know, it gets a little too boring going around in circles all the time. No, you gotta watch. But you'll tune in for some SmackDown, won't you? What's that? You'll tune in for some SmackDown, though, won't you? No, I don't wrestle either. You don't wrestle, God. Um. So this one, this race, you guys ran down World Drive, back around the little loop there through uh, Epcot Boulevard, and then into Epcot and around Epcot, and then finished uh, kind of where you started the 5K. Yes, yeah. almost exactly Stunning. where we. Well, actually, it's the same finish line yeah. for the five. All the races ended at the same spot. Yeah. Uh, so how was how was this race? Obviously, better weather, like you said. A, a lot better weather, a lot easier running for me. I, I actually enjoyed this course a lot more than the average 10K, mm-hmm. which takes you up and around and down. This was, you were only on the road for, what was it? Like three miles. Yeah, like and then you were in Epcot, in Epcot, which was awesome. So there wasn't that boring, oh, I'm going to be here forever stretch of road. It was a 5K mm-hmm. outside a park, which is basically a normal training run for a lot of people, which is usually running in the street anyway. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't too, too awful, and it kept you motivated enough to get through the race. Yeah, you really only have that, only have that uh, short stretch between um, the speedway and getting into the park, which is really not that tremendous amount of race time. No, it wasn't no. bad at all. Yeah, the the blank space, I call it, when nothing's going on, it wasn't bad at all. Mm-mm. Now, on the blank space, did they have characters on the side of the road? Or? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Anyone good that you guys stopped to take a picture with? No. They were good, but I'm too paranoid to stop. Me too. I don't stop. I don't stop. I can't stop. They had Sabine, yes, mile two ish. I think I really wanted to take a picture with her, but I was like, "No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it." As, there was, the Ezra only one I was there. Yeah, the Sabine and Ezra, and then in the mm-hmm. half they were separate. Yeah, yeah, but the better Sabine and Ezra were on the ten, in my yeah, opinion. My yeah, I, oh yeah, I yeah. got I got close enough to, it, and I'm like, I it's too early for me to play this game of stopping. There was more members of the five hundred first this year than. I remember the past and they were years. awesome. They were awesome. Fire Force is always Very awesome. awesome. I, They're always look, amazing. They have longer lines than the, mm-hmm. than the um, regular characters did. Yeah. Many, many, many years ago, we went down for one of the Star Wars weekends before it was a thing. A, and awesome. a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Is exactly. Say, Scott. I, I, got, I got the and, pin back there the very last year they did it. Oh, awesome. Yeah. In, a, in, a, in a place called MGM Studios. Yes. No, it's always <laughs> serious. The 501st is ridiculous. Ridiculous! They are awesome. Look, we like to call ourselves Star Wars fanboys. These are Star Wars fan base on, fanboys on crack. Well, they're, so, just, they're, they're detailed they're on the dedicated. costumes. Are True story. Mind blowing. I heard. I read today uh, when they were filming the Mandalorian series for the new Disney Plus streaming. Saw that they didn't order enough stormtrooper costumes, so they called the five hundred first and to come as, as extras. Of course, they did. Yes. And Dude. you know what? The problem is, you're going to watch it, and you're going to say, how come those guys' costumes look, those stormtroopers <laughs> look more realistic than these stormtroopers do? Yep. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Well, you know it. Because they I take think... pride in every bit it, of okay. their kit, man. It's not an, it's not a prop. It is, no. it is their their alter ego when they go to the base, the base, you know, the minor league baseball game where they go to the mall or they go to a Make-A-Wish kid reveal, you know? That's, 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 that's who they are. They are. Yeah. I will say yeah. the Vader that yeah. was there this weekend was short. Short. He was, he was short. short. <laughs> but again, he can afford it, so more power to him. Yeah. So no, yeah, I'm not. Like, no, I'm not talking about the five hundred one one. I'm talking about on. the actual Disney one. The oh, Disney, really? The Disney Vader was. I didn't, tiny. I didn't wait in line. No, we didn't wait we in line either. But we walked by, and I'm like, "Wow, he's really short." <laughs> That's my only response. Why are you guys hating on Hayden Christensen? Oh God! Well, you watch your mouth. <laughs> That's not Vader. <laughs> it's not Vader. He was never, Aiden Christian was never Vader. He was whiny Anakin. Yeah. I, I think it's Anakin. funny because he was... He, so when they were filming episode three, uh, George Lucas was going to have a body double for Vader because Vader... By the way, um, David Prowse, who plays the original Darth Vader, 
It's like 6'4". Yeah. 6'8". Six, 6'8". Eight. Six, eight. That's it. And Hayden Christian is like 5'10". It is. He's a small guy. I like... <laughs> well, maybe they added a few inches maybe when he gave his robot legs. Someday later, but All I gotta say is, I think fry. Ryan Reynolds has been a better Vader than... Better Oh Anakin, yes, oh, Anakin yeah. Skywalker. Yeah, and so down. so when they're I'm filming sorry, episode three, uh, when they're filming episode three, Hayden Christensen says, "I want to be in Darth Vader's suit," and George is like, "Oh well, okay, you know what? I, I haven't ruined anything yet, so let's do this." He ruined the the yeah. dude. Oh, he, he's oh, saying, "I know." He's in his shorter mind. than the fucking emperor. In, in his mind, and when Vader gets revealed, he's tiny. A I'm sorry, guy. I forgot I can <laughs> cuss on this episode, but god damn it, yeah. it's a fucking bullshit. I mean, don't get me started on that fucking shit, man. I know, I know. He's shorter than the fucking emperor, and emperor's hunched over. <laughs> no, I don't, oh I don't god. know why you guys are hating on Darth Helmet so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I got, I got a little affinity for Darth Vader. I mean, a little bit. Oh wow. So. Oh, well, apparently, so does Run Disney, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> um, did he have like, like this storm like troopers behind tall. him? Did he have stormtroopers holding his 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 cape up like a bridal train <laughs> as he walked I around? So he he, get wet? He's my hero. So he was it, by he himself. Was yeah, it was very if, weird. If I could choose my father, it'd be Darth Vader. <laughs> Me too. I love Darth Vader. Well, then you guys would we would be whiny little pilots. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> Well, I'll be like his half brother or some shit. <laughs> Skywalkers are all whiny, pretty much. All right, so look, the 10K went well. What did you guys finish at? What was your times? Oh fuck, if I know. One, I think it was one. <laughs> Good answer. Twenty-seven, I think was my official time. One yeah, I think one twenty-ish. One twenty-eight. I don't fucking remember, dude. Something ish. I, I was I was hung over from hell, dude. I don't remember a goddamn thing. <laughs> well, that's the only I way. I do to remember run. the weirdest though. The weirdest character. And it wasn't even a picture. Was Ray? Yeah, she, she looked was, very good. Yeah, she didn't she look did. very good. She was standing on a stage, kind of trying to give encouragement, and it was sort of like a fake meet and greet no, the kind of situation. Characters... Was she a five hundred first Ray? Then no, no she, she was, was a Disney. She was, Disney, she was, Disney she was a run Disney. The weirdest yeah, character was up on the stage. Well, there's two rebels that the one couldn't fucking remember her lines. That was that. that oh, I the two like, like oh, uh, those guys are horrible. I couldn't stand were, them. Yeah, they were That's they right. were just the announcers though. No, but they the were on the, they were on the course you. too. They were on the course. I don't know. Well. I was listening to my. They were horrible, dude. I can't. They were just. Oh yeah, the English dude and the little and the chick. They couldn't. Is yes, that, we're gonna. The one that broke her lines moves. twice. And she laughed yeah. like a bitch. Yes, but anyway. Yeah. It is it is difficult to do a character that is an actual real person character okay i mean no 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 she was just a but generic rebel they're generic they weren't even like they weren't, a per, they're like yeah. a generic rebel no I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm talking about ray oh it's fine to do ray but i don't think if you had a picture opportunity with her and didn't need to have her speak and pacing on this stage setup that they had created for her, i think it would have went over a lot better did she at least have a british accent I don't. Uh, I don't remember hearing. Or Scottish. What is she Scottish? Or Brit- I don't. Can't remember. Uh, Daisy Ridley, I think, is English. She's English. But it just and people were, but people were standing in front of this stage and they were trying to take the picture. It was just a weird. Where was one. she? I can't remember where was she at. Right at the very beginning. Yeah. Right when you Definitely. first when we first left the parking lot. She oh. was like by that like gas station. Yeah, right in the right hand side. Oh, like, oh I mean, I didn't even fucking notice her. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. It was weird. It was a weird spot. It's just a weird spot. The only thing I know was I was, here. I was my fat ass running, and we're about to. We're about. We're entering Epcot by the bus loop. Yeah. Here, here comes Adam, hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like he. He's fucking trucking him. He's like at this point. I'm walking right now. Cause I'm like I did my three miles. I'm safe. I'm not worried about getting swept. I'm gonna walk. So I'll kill myself tomorrow. Here comes Adam. You did it. I'm like God damn. Hey, and then I got up? yelled at. I didn't hear him because I had my headphones he's, in. He's, he's, fucking, he's trucking. Y'all can't see me doing it. He's fucking gone. He's. I say, hey, what's up, dude? Nothing. I didn't even see That's him. I yelled at. I, had my headphones hey, in. I got yelled at by three different people and because like, I didn't there's stop There's like six other Adams anybody. around me going, hey, what's up, dude? No, that Adam right there. Finger comes up like this. He goes. I did not. <laughs> That's all I remember. Meanwhile, Todd's already finished the race and James and I are somewhere in the dude. back just bullshitting. I got I, Todd, that motherfucker. I got a story about him. Oh, that motherfucker sat there. I'm really nervous about this race. Oh, I never trained. 
texting us the middle of the night trade. the night before. I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. I, I don't know. I can't. I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. I'm not going. I I'm a, not going to make I it. I'm run, not going to finish. I haven't run since like last year. <sighs> Beat all of us except Most for Jen during the half. Yeah. Well, I did stop for a massive piss break too. So I think we all did. And that's the first time I didn't stop. Oh no. The 10K, I, that's where it killed my time. I sat there and I peed for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I stopped for the 10K and I stopped for the half. God, I've never jealous. stopped for races before. <laughs> no, you're not because I had my stupid watch going and I'm watching the time on my watch just ratchet up while I'm fucking peeing and I'm like, this is killing me right now. <laughs> wait, wait, were you timing your pee or timing the race? All right, so, you know, the 10K finishes. Uh, you guys go back to the hotel, shower, change, relax, chill. So um, I, relax, my ass, my dumb ass. Oh, I yeah, we went to the we went to the I tour the parks. Uh, we learned that you last tour, time. We you that. toured the parks. Oh yeah, Tim and Adam did that the first Star Wars 10K. Yeah, and that was their biggest mistake. And <laughs> yeah, they, we did they it last learned. Year no, it was holy that shit. That was the wine and dine. Mm -hmm. The I wine got, and dine we fucked up with that. So Friday night, I got fucking wasted. I mean, I got two hours of sleep. Right, did the run, went back, showered, and we got uh, we actually got Ohana for breakfast, which is pretty good. And I was like, let's go to Magic Kingdom. Sure. We're about 10 minutes into it. We got a fast pass for Splash Mountain. And all of a sudden, this, as that, 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 uh, the, the wall hits me, but my buddy's like, I really don't want to ride a ride right now. I'm like, me neither, dude. So we walked around, went to Epcot. I don't know if I went back to the damn room, I would pass out and I like, like like noon I don't want to do that <laughs> so we walked around the parks a little bit got drunk a little more and passed out around 530 that night early yeah. night tip do not tour the parks during race, race weekend you'll be okay <laughs> 5k you see for the 5k I'm able because the 5k doesn't kill me no but if you do it at 10k the next day it's only what 3.2 no, miles the 5K, we went to the park, didn't we? we? We went to a bar and sat down. Still counts. It's a park. <laughs> we went to Brown Derby Lounge and <laughs> sat down. We sat down, though. That's the thing. No, we did sit down. We, we, but we went to a park. We hung out in a park. By the way, that Brian, we, the Brown Derby Lounge may be one of the most underrated bars in the parks. Oh, that was a lot. We had a lot of it's fun It's lovely there. there. We, it really we did, is. It took us. Oh, it wasn't lovely when we were there, but it, it was a lot it's of fun. Lovely. It took it's, us three, it's four lovely. days. It's, it's just lovely. Lovely. We had an attraction. Fabulous. <laughs> we were there four days before we actually hit an attraction. Did you go with Brent and Sydney and hit People Mover? Not People Mover. That was after. Okay. That was Monday. Well, you've, you you lost me at People Mover. <laughs> we know. <laughs> All right, so so with the conclusion of the 10K, you guys chilled out, went to a bar, relaxed. No, the 10K is when we went on the attractions because we had the we had a very early breakfast, we yeah. had a very early dinner. Dinner was at like 4:30. What'd you have for dinner that night? Sci-fi. Oh, I can't wait for that. We're doing that in May. I'm I'm so excited to go back there. I, it's very I love. Good, it. I really. I, it's really cute the way it's set up. I really kind of enjoyed it. I love I, the sci-fi. Food is food is good. Burger's really good. It, I yeah, they got a good burger. Last time I was there was during a Star Wars weekend, where they turned the whole thing into a Star Wars theme. Had a little Star uh, Wars character walking around. But that would have been awesome. It was awesome. But that was the day we rode. Um, we rode Star Tours. Now, Mikey, you've been to Sci-Fi. I have. I have. I have. Uh, Even Ricky. Whole liked family it. went. Really enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Um, <laughs> cool little old school, you know, black and whites on the screen. It, it, it looked, it's themed really well. The little mm -hmm. uh, miniature fiberglass replicars that you're sitting down eating. It'll hold six people, which is really cool. Um, as long as you don't get one of the longer tables. It's kind of like Jack Rabbit Slims. Yeah. 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 Yep. And, uh, and awesome. I, I love it. Oh, Pulp Fiction <laughs> is one burger. of my favorite movies. Mm hmm. And the burger was great. Uh, I couldn't. I mean, like we had we had a great server too. We had an amazing server when we went. So yeah, yeah we're I, we're doing uh, we're doing uh, sci-fi in May, and I'm I'm excited for it. I haven't been there in probably three or four years since Ethan was eating Cheerios, and that was all he was eating. Um, I'm looking That's forward good times to it right there. I right know. Back when he was free. Yeah, back when he was free. <laughs> now his annual pass costs the same as mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so ridiculous. Um, so, all right, so 
it's it's time for it's time for you to call it a night. What time did you guys go to bed on uh, Saturday night for the half? Eight o'clock, five thirty or six. <laughs> yeah, we were in bed by like seven thirty, eight o'clock. I was pretty fucking hurting because that wake up call for the half comes early. Two thirty. I know. I was still up. One thirty. I was up one thirty. Yes. No, that was it. <laughs> he's like, he's going to bed. I'm like, like, oh, good morning. <laughs> he's like, you're up awfully late to have me running a half. I was like, we're getting up. We're just waking up. That's not how this works. Like, I slept great though. I did too. I'm texting but, to I'm texting with Tim and Adam. It's like two thirty in the morning. I'm like, what are you guys doing up? And they're like, we're getting up. And our phones were constantly going crazy from everybody else that's here, and they're hanging out. They're having a great time, and we just want to have a drink. <laughs> and we can't. Yeah. Because you guys start that whole like uh, page for everybody down there, a constant yep. line, line, bling, 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 yep. bling, bling, bling. I was like, silence. I don't care. Yep, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, done. I muted it that night. I was like, Tapped I'm not doing this. Mm. Look, at this, look at this cute purse. No one gets a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sleep. I have a fucking long run tomorrow. All right, so the wake-up call comes early. You get to the growls, what, like 4.30, 3.30? Oh, no. 4.30. No, we were there like no. 3. 3. Yeah, the bus no, left the at 3. The bus left oh. at 3. We were there by like 3.30. 3.30, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The, bus, the, the buses are bus. going at the right. same time, but the race started like half an hour early. Which is no, the buses it, started early too. And the the they, race ended up yeah, starting at the same right. time at five thirty. No, we started moving at five though. No, we started moving at five. They started. They start that a half hour early. So all right. Start, yeah. So you start back again once. Uh, once again, you start back in the Magic Kingdom parking lot. This one you had a lot of blank space. So this is oh, this God. is the longest race you guys have ever run in Disney, and this one took you around these like we service the, roads. We did the wine dine half. This is our second half. second half. Okay, second half. Uh, but this one took you a, a different course. This one started into the woods by Island Road. Yeah, by the uh, by the Palm Golf Course and Cast and Connection. All the way down. Yeah. The shit to station. Animal Kingdom. Next to the shit station. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The dump. Which is horrible. It was bad this year. Yeah. Really bad. It was. This year. It was like, oh, well. You know how they pump the smells on Main Street. <laughs> yeah, this was like they were pumping the shit smell onto the race course because it was that bad this year. Here's where everybody shit goes. Yeah. It, it, it you was, smell that? That's what was, you did last night. It was also it was cool in the morning. Four times this like, morning. When we were waiting for the when we were waiting in the crowd, it was cool. It was there was a nice breeze. All of a sudden, the breeze just goes away in yeah. just oppressive humidity. It Ooh. wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. No, you could see it rolling in. You could see the yeah. fog of humidity rolling in. Oh, yeah. It got it, bad quick. My spit cup exploded in my my pocket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, tell that story, Kyle. So there I was. I mean, for some god awful reason, I don't know. I got in the crowd ahead of everybody, you know, and they're they're flicking me off, cussing at me, and I had my spit cup. I get nervous. I dip a lot, and. My dumb ass put it in my pocket and went to sit down, and I just felt like the liquid. Oh, like, it was literally a, a coffee. Did cup. I just like? Sh- I was like, did I just shit myself? Like, no, <laughs> spit cup. Wait, and, and you think it's funny, but that does happen a lot during races. Yes, yes. and like I don't know why I did, but like, I got up and like you could like it's wintergreen smell. It's win- <laughs> you can start smelling it, and I'm like. <laughs> Uh, it, it smells amazing for me. I'm like, this smells pretty damn good. I'm good. I'm fine, but I, I'm, I'm, I get the paranoia like they can smell me now. <laughs> <laughs> I put deodorant on, but no, I'm the stinky. I'm the, I'm the stinky kid. <laughs> I'm the smelly kid. Um, <laughs> so as you as you guys pass through the uh, the shit station over by Animal Kingdom, you run through. Was this better a better race through Animal Kingdom than uh, the wine <laughs> nope. and dine one? Running through no. Animal Kingdom same. sucks. It's yeah. all the time. Okay. okay, you're in the very back. You hit. Uh, Dino, Dino USA. And yes. That's it. Yeah. And no, this you almost. Well, oh, actually, oh, Ava, Avatar. Yeah, this year. I was gonna say you ran through Pandora, yeah, Pandora, which is, it's, depending on what time you hit it. The problem is because it was so humid, it got super wet. Yeah. Yeah, I walked that area. I walked it. And the ground there gets super slippery. The ground wasn't that bad. The, the damn bridge. bridge. The bridge, the bridge, bridge is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't imagine that would be very good. They were actually telling people to, to walk it because it was so slippery. I'm, yeah, I'm, was, I'm walking it. I can hear it squ- like squeaking because it's so wet down there. And That's a, what she said. A lot of running yeah. shoes don't do well in wet. Mine are horrible in the wet. The ones I was wearing yeah. on Sunday are horrible when it gets wet. So I wasn't taking any chances. 
Now, uh, and this so, is, right, so, this was the end of me at, at the end of. Uh, so <laughs> real Kingdom. quick, let's 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 talk about it as we kind of this is sort of like the halfway point of the marathon. Um, as you finish mm-hmm. up Animal Kingdom, what running sho- shoes were you guys wearing? So Tim, let's start with you. Well, on the five k, my Brooks they got soaked. And I only planned on wearing them for the 5K, and I was going to wear my Hoka's for the 10 and the half. But because my Brooks were soaked, I ended up having to wear my Hoka's all day Saturday, running them. And then I was like, I'm not wearing these again to run in after walking all day in the like four. So, oh, they're, they're your walking and running shoes? No, my Brooks are. Oh, Jesus. My you Hoka, had to use your Hoka's. Yeah, I had to use my My Hoka's oh, are my long mileage shoes. But I had to wear them because my brooks were wet. So finally, my brooks were wet. So I wore my brooks on Sunday, which are a little bit more slippery when they get wet than my hokas are. I'm trying to remember what order did I wear them in. And then I ended up buying a new pair of sneakers. Well, yeah, for the half, you wore your ons. <laughs> for that, what? You wore the ons for the half, didn't you? No, I did not. I wore the hokas for the half. I wore hokas for the half. I don't remember what I wore for the 10, and I wore my brooks for the 5. Uh, Kyle, what'd you wear? I had some Brooks Adrenaline's GTS's for a ten and a half, That's and right I had some other shoes for walking around. So it's a- I would have just worn shoes because I don't have <laughs> any <laughs> brand name. What the hell? Long mileage? You know, I don't, fucking BF Goodrich. Uh, <laughs> there you, hey, that's not a bad idea. That's actually a really good idea. That probably yeah, really put some good rich soles on. on there. They um, got the freaking Merrills on there. Per, per, back in the day, Pirelli and Puma had a. Uh, yeah, they did. Oh, they did. And they, they used did. to make. It would probably Pirelli be really good in the wet. What? Didn't they like? Uh, weren't weren't the uh, NASCAR guys wearing them? Weren't they? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. They had the P zero treads on the bottom. Yeah, the Speed Cats were uh, the the sole of the Speed Cats yep. for a long time were made by Pirelli. <laughs> Uh, Speed Cat, that's a great shoe. Um, all right, so look, you you get through Animal Kingdom, you head down Osceola Parkway, and that's where I die. Forever? Did you pass? Yeah. For, well, it seems like forever. It's really forever. not that was, long of a stretch. It's like the worst oh, no, part it's of forever. this run. It's forever. This is the most brutal part of this run. Is that stretch? Yeah. Oh, uh, because that's I don't care. well, that's a very like hilly stretch where well, you it's go. Over. No, it's not hilly. It's just. Nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. And by now, the, the sun, sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. And running into it. Right in your face. Yeah. yeah. And it's getting hot. Yeah, this. And yeah, oh, I yeah. managed. And I managed to sweat off all my body glass. Yeah, this basically starts. <laughs> oh, damn. Sorry, dude. The, yeah. This starts at the Animal Kingdom entrance. So you go down Osceola Parkway, and then you kind of do this kind of U turn back onto World Drive, where you head into. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Hollywood Studios there at the back entrance mm-hmm. by Fantasmic. But I, you yeah. see, sweating off body glide is a bad thing. Yeah, lots of chafing. <laughs> lots and lots of chafing. <laughs> yes, you rub a nipple Everywhere. off. You get the chub rub going. I mean, I, I sweat a lot. <laughs> chub rub. You guys aren't helping me to decide to run. <laughs> No, that's that's just part of the running. It's He's got suffering. It's, it's, it's war yes. wounds. You're dainty. You'll be fine. <laughs> you're, 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 you got thigh gap. You'll be fine. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Body glass for people who have a little, man bit of, thigh a little bit of mass on them. And, and, and the only thing I would worry about is, is your nipples too. Yeah, dude. Definitely body glass and nips. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Nip chafe Those is shits. the worst. Nip chafe is the worst. No, no, no. Nip nip chafe is the worst. Uh, I can't imagine. Ball, really ball hurts chafe when you, and live when with nip chafe. No. Mm-hmm. Nip chafe and then you get in a chlorine filled pool is that's a bad bad yeah, exactly. recipe. Exactly. Um, because people that, like ah that, blood in the water. He, and you might want to like, body glide no. that hair too for some reason. I don't know. It, it seems like <laughs> he's body glide. Uh, well, he put something from his body in his hair. <laughs> Suavecito. Suavecito. <laughs> um, all right, so as you get through, you go through uh, Sunset Boulevard, past the Tower of Terror. How is, you know, obviously this is all before the park opens. What does that feel like when you're walking, you're running through? Uh, Do you really want to know what this feels like? At, well, at this like, point, like, like, this, well, this is what Physically, old... emotionally, you got to specify. Cause, you know, physically. For me, Hollywood Studios, I want this to be over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every time I hit Hollywood Studios, I don't care. I but just want this to be done. You don't go through much of Hollywood Studios. No. You, you go to the backside of, of uh, Tower Terror, essentially. Down Sunset, Sunset Boulevard. Yes, 
and out, and out the yeah. entrance. Yeah. That's it. You're not very, you're not, not, you're not, not in Hollywood Studios part. very much. Yeah. Now then that you means get to, it's almost over. Then you get to the yeah. best part. The rape bridge. The rape bridge. Rape bridge. I did not get raped. I'm good. No, but none of us here got raped. No. Well, good for you. Did anybody get bridged? Point. No, it got you very got congested bridged. right there. Yeah. Yes, always it does. always does. Well, this is the this but is the this part is where, where but really not gonna choke, lie, choke points. This is where the emotions start coming in now, because a lot of the times you have everybody with their signs, mm-hmm. yeah, especially, oh, especially on boardwalk. up and down the boardwalk, and like it's just this is where it's like, oh my god, I'm doing yeah. this kind of thing. All these people have no idea who I am, but they're rooting me on anyway. Mm-hmm. You're giving high fives. You're just having it, it. It becomes a little bit more like emotionally intense. Yeah. We saw the Brother. best one. There was actually somebody dressed in an inflatable Triceratops costume, and he had a sign that said, "Run like there's a meteor behind you, and Chris Pratt is in front of you." <laughs> I saw that guy. He yes. was amazing. No, but like the worst part about that that stretch right there is all the A corralers. Evan, Evan, the A corral. I was up. We were like what E and F. Yeah. Yes. A crowler's been done. They gone back to their room. They shower. They're walking around with the medals on, and you can see them. Yeah, yeah. That it's and like, you're like you motherfucker. I hate you right now. Oh, this mm-hmm. is where the Kenyans come in. You, yeah, essentially, pretty much. Or the or so now, and anybody who's faster than you, you I just mean, automatically. Adam's hate. Adam's emotional. He's happy. He's got this going. I'm pissed <laughs> off now. I'm like you, <laughs> son of a bitch. I, I fucking hate you. It lasted- you're only down here for one damn reason. You're showing your shit off. I'm just gonna. Right in the old sack. No, I'm Julius. good on the boardwalk. However, the second I enter into Epcot and start smelling fucking food, oh yeah, god, that was hard. That was hard. <laughs> I was just gonna say because you, so you enter into kind of the uh, the backstage area around the Millennium Village, and you basically yes. run through the UK all the way around World Showcase, mm. and it's what close to like nine in the morning. Give or take. Oh, yeah. it's it very right? close to nine. Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast, nine in the morning. Breakfast is being made in France. And beers being oh, served in the kiosk. That's yeah. right. And beers being served in the kiosk. Breakfast is being made in France, and the booths are getting ready. Yeah. It's probably for food and wine. It's probably the least motivated you or can be at this point. <laughs> yeah. Right, Did you see anybody stop to get food? Kyle stopped um, to get a beer. Didn't know somebody who got stopped and got beer. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I have no doubt Kyle stopped for his. He had to hydrate. <laughs> But I would have loved to see somebody walking for for just 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 you know a little bit. So, with, you know, with, look, you know, Mikey. Some, uh, Mikey. Some people get finish line beers after they cross. Some people get beers to cross the finish line. <laughs> no, I'm talking food. I mean, I would have loved to look no. over and see somebody <laughs> eating anything for breakfast. <laughs> It was not hey, enough. I'll catch up the with food? you guys. Fucking go on. We, we had crepes. We, was, no, the, the things weren't open yet because it wasn't eleven. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, Future. Oh. Um, yeah, everything else opens at 11. Yeah, the booths don't open until 11. Future Worlds opens at 9. Yeah, we were running, and I got to the kiosk next to Umbrella. Electric Umbrella. Electric Umbrella. Mm-hmm. And they're out there, like, you know, cheering us on. It looked closed. I was like, you all got a beer? Like, yes, sir. I'm like, fuck, give me goddamn beer. <laughs> you see, I didn't even think that fucking ass. Yeah, but was, you know. Like, they're happy as hell to serve us. And, like, you know, I was like, what beer you got? Bud Light. What else? Bud Light. I'm like... Fuck, Fuck it, give it, it to me. Do. Uh, you know what? <laughs> no. At that point, it's you like, don't but care. The best part about it, the best part about it though, is I, I did that. And everybody's like, "He did that shit." Like four of the people got behind me. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope you started something. I did. I started. I started fucking. I I, I was trending at the beer cart, essentially. <laughs> so as Hashtag you Ostrander. as you Hashtag pass Ostrander. as you pass around the electric umbrella, this is the this is the final stretch. It's you know maybe another four hundred yards to the finish line. You finally cross. How'd you guys feel? Hurt. Dead. Dead. <laughs> I was done. Here's was where bent. I got weirded out. I got my fucking medal. But, uh, um, I start, like I said, I started in the crowd before everybody else did, and I don't know how I did it. It wasn't fucking planned. And Todd was being Todd. <laughs> you know, saying, I'm not going to, I haven't trained, I haven't done this, and again, I'm not competitive, I'm not out there to beat anybody, I'm not there, I'm like, whatever. Unless I'm running, You're there to have like a, a good time. Yeah, unless I'm like running, I see like a fucking oh, like bee corral. If I see like a bee corral, I'm like, I'm fucking beating your ass. I'm fat, you know. And I, I, I pass the finish line. I pass the finish line, and then I get a text like, "Where's everybody at?" And Todd's like, "We got beers at the beer at the beer table." I'm like, "The yep. fuck? <laughs> yep, <laughs> this motherfucker." I'm like, "What That's the all fuck?" Like, I'm not mad. He finished before me, but I'm like, "What the hell?" 
I get oh, there. I'm he's a... got like a table full of beers and shit. I'm like, oh no, but Jen PR. Yeah. Oh, but well, she was out there to PR though. And yeah, she, she was she looking at PR. PR. Looked it. She wants a good Jen crowd for. Did dopey. it under way under two hours. So Jen, what Jen knocked out a like, personal she best. Like a two fifty one like personal record. Two fifty eight. No, two fifty one. She was the two fifty one. She was the first one to finish the half. Nice out of all of us. Yes. Nice. I see what happens when you. I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah, I thought I broke my pinky toe at one point. So well, I'm like, I'm, I was just finished. I wanted the half to be done. <laughs> we, we, James and I had caught up to Lauren, Chris, and Julia right at before we got into um, Animal Kingdom. So we decided we we're gonna just try to all stick together, and then by the time we hit mile marker ten is when we caught up to Adam. So we decided yeah. we're all going to finish together because by that time we had all hit a wall. I don't know what it was about this race that we just all just. Well, I, I'll tell you what it was about this race: me stopping at every medic tank to try to slather Vaseline on any part oh. that I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James and I had the same issues. I mean, the humidity was so high, our lungs were on fire. For some reason, our thighs wouldn't uncramp, and we just couldn't couldn't power through it. And then, we'd, if it wasn't for finishing with the five of us crossing that finish line. At the same time, I probably would not have finished. Uh, I, I would have finished. I would have been a lot. <laughs> it would have taken me a lot longer than it took me to finish. But I would have. But I, my toe popped out of its joint at one Ugh. point. I'm like, oh, oh. oh. oh sorry, sorry, dude. dude. <laughs> I'm like, I heard it pop. I felt it pop, and then it tingled. And I'm like, either I just broke it or I dislocated it. How does it that happen? Because at, when your toes start getting tired and your feet start getting tired, you actually start curling your toes. Yep, yep. I do that. I do that a lot anyway. It's and horrible. Once you st- and you're constantly putting pressure on it and putting pressure on yep. it and putting pressure on it. Let that joint that out. All it takes is to land the wrong way, and it was my pinky toe, and I landed the wrong way, and it popped right out of the side again. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> well, don't do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> not a fan of that. So I finished. I finished. Finish. You guys finished. But did you die? Yes. Did no. Die. Came close. Felt like death, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, but truly thank- was not sure if I was going to be able to walk ever again yeah. after this. But thank you God know. for Todd and his lovely wife for having a table full of beers when yes. we got there. Yeah. Well, look, I it felt sounds- worse after the wine and dine half than I did after this one. Oh, I thought I was going to die after this well, one. Well, that's because you broke like your toe. Shit. Yeah. Well. <laughs> it was fun. Now, I had a blast. The question is, okay, you finished the race. You have had your beers. And then they give you the, your little box of snacks. Did you jump on that? Did you just tear into that? Tear open fuck and get yeah, your, oh, your I cheese and your chips? I collected, I collected everybody's fake cheese. Pretzels, man. Okay. I had a slight jelly bean addiction this race. Oh, boy. <laughs> where I hit a point where I just got so fucking hungry that I just started shoveling them in my mouth. <laughs> so I think they expanded in my stomach. The I really wasn't beans? hungry towards <laughs> it. So, oh, yeah. Well, oh, you, yeah, you yeah, hit yeah. him Chris for his jelly beans on the 5K. I was so fucking hungry by the time halfway through this right that I just started eating them. Yeah, uh, fake I ate through this week about four or five packs of them because I was just hungry. And then by the time I finished the race, I wasn't hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but you were thirsty. Oh, I was always thirsty. <laughs> There's always room for beer. <laughs> Several beers. Yeah. Yes, and then we um, we broke up for the race. Todd came back to the room with us because he had no and- more room. Yes, he he was out of rooms, and we opened up the old scout. Nice that oh that, See, what, that old scout fuck? fourteen. <laughs> the hey, y'all had plans. Y'all had things. To I do, didn't have shit so. to do, man. I'm flexible when it comes to fucking bourbon. That's right. You guys, you guys brought down that old scout single barrel fourteen year fuck? old whiskey. How yeah. was that? I don't uh, know. That wasn't our first bottle. Bot- <laughs> I apologize. Kyle <laughs> says, I'm going to take this, show. this one. No, we uh, don't? No. Well, no. fuck you all, then. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's what that I bottle, did. We had that bottle sitting. On, it was in the dining room table in, the, in our room, and it was just sitting there staring at me all week. And I was like, I can't wait to crack that open. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait to crack that open. And then I Scott, getting, um, I was dr- Scott had I was brought over rare, so fuck it. a okay. crowler of beer from Trobes. And don't ask me how we smuggled it on the plane, because I couldn't tell you. The can kind of smelt funny, but... <laughs> we, we drank that. Some wallet. <laughs> we drank that, and then we had no a, a shot stop of that uh, Sasquatch. <laughs> nothing yet. Nothing stops Sasquatch. <laughs> we had a shot of that old scout. 
Well, look. No. I had There's a great scout. shot of all of us wearing our socks. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw I that. I room drink Eagle Rare. That's all I did. Um, hey, not more with that. I took a nap. Well, look, I'm glad everybody finished the half and didn't die and had some good times. Uh, more importantly, would you do this again? Fuck Absolutely. yeah. Well, yes. duh, we fucking signed up for 35 more miles. You did. Dude, Star Wars did. is fuck, dude. Star, Star Wars, I'm a Star Wars nerd, obviously. I'm, I mean, I got Star Wars all over the fucking place here. I definitely would do it again. See, I don't know if I'd do the Star Wars again, because honestly, it was the least amount of fun I've had on a course so far, though. Because I wasn't there. You want to race the power of the dark side. Nice. All right, now. I love it, but it was honestly the least amount of fun I've on the course. I, I think, I think since they actually split, the, since the West Coast was done, they didn't put much effort into this one because you, you done the Star Wars before, right? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, it we was, did the ten. It was fun. It was a whole lot that more fun lot last time. Yes, this year was nowhere near um, the potential. I guess they had, or they had. Mm. But yeah. Wine and Dine, I had so much... Even yeah. Ended. Wine and Dine was my first half that I ever ran before. I've heard Wine and Dine's fucking blast. It was so much fun during that right, that half, where they had so many... Some The characters are a lot more interactive. Yeah. We had the Adventurers Club out yeah. there. I mean, it's just... There's so much more... There's no, Kylo, had, there's no Kylo Ren this year. I just figured... There's no, Kylo no there was no Kylo. Well, Emos... He was, he, he, emos he was don't at, run. Uh, he was at... Uh, He's been at Epcot. On, no. He's been on stage at Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. All the time. And, yeah, you can get your picture taken, but if you're sneaky like me, selfie. You got him. But, yeah. You can meet him twice different. if you go to the launch bay and you've got a Disney Visa card. Yeah, which <laughs> I'm so upset about. me off. Because it used to be story, the chase one was story. Vader. Funny story. My kid is a huge Kylo Ren fan as this thing. I don't blame him. He's he's an asshole. <laughs> My kid on the Kylo Ren. Well, and, uh, an asshole too. and uh, we did the whole visa thing, and Kylo Ren showed up, and he is I don't care who you, he's intimidating. Yes. Oh yeah. And I'm like I'm fucking scared, dude. This guy's fucking weird. It is. It My, is kind of weird. My kids like my kids like frozen. It is kind of weird. He does uh, the fucking things. Vader was always more like. Come join the dark side, you know, blah, 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 blah. But Kylo is definitely much more intimidating. He's in your face. He is. He's like, Kate, he made Kate cry, yeah. so that was kind of Well, awesome. everything makes Kate cry. Yeah. But the except, Kylo Ren except character, for sad he, movies. he doesn't have a movies. preset set of dialogue that he can only spill out. He actually talks to you. And, you know, they oh, he does? Yeah. yeah. No, he has he, he has buttons that he can push, I'm sure. It's, it's no, because he, it's the same voice. But he's... Whatever, whoever Kylo Ren is, he's and the Visa thing is fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. All right, but it's buttons. No, he, he, he can respond, and it's, it's just a voice decoder, I think. I he he asked me to join the dark side. I said, "Fuck yeah, I'll join the dark side." And he don't, he don't have my language at all. <laughs> 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 I, got, I got kicked out of pretty quick. Um, and I saw and I saw BB eight and got a hug. Yes. All right, so BB BB-8. eight gave you a hug. How does that happen? I hug BB eight. I got in trouble again. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to touch BB-8. You're not allowed to touch BB-8. From experience, you can't, you're not touch you BB-8. can't fondle the balls. You, you know what? No. Not there's, <laughs> there's... Hey, Kyle, you can fondle these balls, all right? <laughs> hey, dude, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be in Memphis in like a week and about a month. I'll, I'll come see you. Well, I mean, I'm still four and a half hours away. But... I'll come see you. I'll fondle, I'll fondle them. Um, yeah, they don't like when you touch BB-8 or when you slap the ass of a stormtrooper. Yeah, no. You 501st don't care. <laughs> yeah, the 501st may 501. let you slap their ass, but Disney Stormtroopers not so much. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, all right. The, the well, first look. It sounds like yeah. it sounds like all the races went off without too much of a hitch. You guys didn't die. You still made it through. You're here today. Um, you are doing Dopey 2020, which uh, again, I'm not sure why. Why? Why? Not sure why. Well, I, I don't know. If Dopey today, wasn't yeah. enough, we decided to add another 3.1 miles into the castle challenge. It's because the finish line is like, are you going to do this? Sure, why not? Fuck it. Yeah, you guys give in to I'm peer pressure die. way too easily. I know. Yeah, I'll agree to that because <laughs> I almost signed up for oh, the... Shit, um, excuse me. I, I almost signed up for this year's wine and died too. I came really close. No. <laughs> this all yeah, you guys are nuts. Thank God. 
<laughs> they opened it though. Oh, we missed it. No, they sold didn't. Out. It was already sold out. Oh, oh, the, that was, the oh, reopen was already sold out too. The only thing that was open was the challenge, and I just don't have. Well, I kind I'll of found out that I do have enough sick time for a two course challenge. No, where I'll, I would. F- so I can't. Do, I can't do Star Wars next year because of the ha- because of the dopey. I might do Wyand on next year. I might do Wine and Die next year. The other reason why I don't want to do Wine and Die much this year is because it falls on Halloween. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. It, it's going to be a madhouse. Because I, you have you have the last Halloween party that weekend. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. You have Wine and Dine. I just... It, and you have Star Wars being open. That's a mess. Oh, that's a yeah, mess of things. Yeah. Nope. You have Star Wars being yeah. open. You have Wine and Dine, and you have the new and you have the new show at Epcot too. Now. And, well, and the new uh, Halloween show. Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah, it's just, gonna be. A, it's if I gonna, go just to race, I'll be fine. Yeah, but I can never do that. As yeah, much as I say true. I'm going to do that, I mean, it's never going to happen. That's I'm 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 lying to myself. Exactly. It was, it's sort of like how I lied to myself that I'm not going to wait online for Star Wars. Oh, I have a trip that happened to be booked in September already. My going, damn happy I'm, ass is going to be in line yeah. for Star Wars. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, look. Well, they're going to have... For, the rumor is, because we kind of found this out, sort of by one of the tram runners, tram guys. A bus driver? Um, no, the tram. tram. It was the actually a tram. tram. Parking lot tram. Um, that The rumor is that right now they're looking to see how California runs. If it goes off well, they're going to be doing the same kind of reservation system that California is going to be doing. I imagine they will. And you are guaranteed a spot if you have a reservation in a hotel. So I'm Ooh. kind of curious to find out Ooh. if... Because we technically have two hotel reservations because we're kind of doing a... Splits, you know, split stay. The split stay. Does that count as two separate reservations? Sure, fuck yeah, this? it does. Think so? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We'll find out. What the fuck? That's not a bad idea. That's... Don't, and don't, Kyle, don't. just so you know, there's a sheet up in September if you're interested. Uh, <laughs> I can't do it. Big no, summer blowout. <laughs> All right. Well, look. Um, I can't do it. I'll be there with my dinner plates, my balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, mean, I, I don't know if c Magic is going to have his balls out on, on a plate. Um, he'll, have his, he'll have his jelly beans there. There will be well. No, no I think we had to throw out the jelly breeds. They were all stuck together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's more of a jelly chew. It's like one of those jelly bean eggs. It was a, that was pretty Easter. much it. That was why I ate so many. I tried to take one out. Four came out. It was right, a jelly wad. It right in my mouth. That's <laughs> awesome to hear all about the Run Disney stuff. Um, if you are a member of the Finish Line, definitely go. You know, definitely post your times, post what you're running. We like that. If you're not a member of the finish line, because the, really the three sheets of the finish line is not just a place for runners. It's a place for all different sorts of physical activities so we can keep drinking and keep eating down at the world. Uh, Josh Wozni is doing this, what is it, like a 30 day strength challenge or something like that? Yeah, fuck that shit. It's not easy. He's doing a good easy. job, but fuck that shit. It's not easy. No. It wasn't that bad. We just officially started just it. Just started. Yeah. Just started. He's the getting warmed up. No angel? Negative. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It sounds like a sex position. It was. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's not a workout. It's and a cold one at that. To him. Yes. <laughs> Something to try out later tonight? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. If you, uh, if, you, if you are a member of the finish line, definitely go check it out. Definitely go join. Uh, there's no requirements. You don't have to answer questions. You don't have to, you don't have to be a runner. I'm not a runner, but you know what? It's a good place to get healthy and get some tips. We almost got you running. Uh, Except for me. You will want to run Disney I got race. Busy. I, I, now, that, now that spring is finally here, I do plan to get out a little bit more. You will run a run Disney race. You, you have will. to at least run. 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 My at, at least do, do a do fun it. run when you're at the resort. Can, yeah. can, I, can I do the kids race? <laughs> oh, I forgot the fucking fun runs. Yeah. Dude. No, you can't do it. 5Ks are a fun run. Uh, yeah. Five, I, look, I could do a 5K tomorrow. I'm not... You should at least try to do a 5K, yeah. and especially for as such a big fan you are of the Adventurous Club, I can't not picture you just trying to see them again at a 10K I would, during Wine and Die. I would definitely go see the Adventurous Club if they came back. Yeah, I'd like so to you point see, out... The only way to see fact. them now is to, to run the 10K or the half at Wine and Dine. My fat the ass same. has more run Disney medals than Scott. It's fine by me. I'm not a. Com- I'm not that competitive on that. Oh, I, neither am I. Look at me. <laughs>
I I, I, I do not runs. No, you get the runs. You just well, them. you do, but just different kinds. Yes, he yeah. just gets them. You yeah. get them, not do them. Not only did you guys run lots of lots of miles, but you did some pretty grand things while you were down there. Yes. Kyle, let's get straight. These two did some what? bougie motherfucker things. Yes. Hate on hater. <laughs> I was not invited. Look, back. <laughs> I kid. Look, Tim and Adam. They like nice things. Well, do we talk about? Oh, do we start with the eighty-minute massage at census? Okay, you, you know what? Good, good point. Let's start there. Adam decided. To, did, did Tim? Did you get a massage? No. Okay. I was good for one, but then I had second thoughts about strangers touching me, and I was like, mm, that's not <laughs> exactly. You gotta be friends. Uh, Adam, Adam, you did the eighty-minute massage. Where was this at? Was this at the Grand Floor or Senses in uh, Springs? Or Spr- not Springs? Saratoga. Um, Saratoga Springs. Saratoga. Yeah. I did at Saratoga. It's it's a spa that I'm most familiar with because it's not my first rodeo. And yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> I sat there for 80 minutes. I fell asleep on the table. It and happens. And I was able to walk again. So that's always a plus. It happens. Uh, now, you know, look, my wife is going to. Uh, she's going to go to the Grand Flow uh, Spa. She's been there twice. She's never been to Springs. What is what is the the spa at, Sp- at Springs like? I can uh, the the. There is a difference. Men and women are separated mm-hmm. when it gets when you get downstairs into like the changing area. What is your wife doing? She's doing the Swedish massage. The uh, wait, no, it's the Citrus Grand Floridian Signature Massage, whatever that is. Sure, um, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I just go get deep tissue and stuff. Um, from what everybody says, the spa at Springs is better. It's bigger. The, it's the lounge areas. It's the original. The lounge area is bigger. The they have the special ergonomic. How do you say that word? Seats that are nice and warm. You can sit with a towel. They have. It's just. It's. It's very relaxing. And after running like a crazy maniac, it's definitely needed. And just for dopey, we're gonna do it on a cruise ship, so that should be fun. Is it when you say the ergonomic seats are warm? Is it like those tiled chaise lounges? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's exactly what they are, and and it's really nice. Uh, yeah, they look they look nice, especially when they're like, oh, and they're heated. And you're like, oh, I just want my naked fat manness to just slide around. Melt into it. It is I'm still Disney. Around. You need to be have at least a robot. Yeah. Robot. So if, it's, if it gets too hot, will your fat melt into it? <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a barbecue. If only it worked. Out. Will it? Will it? What, what he's asking is, will I render? Will I render down? <laughs> <laughs> if only it worked that Are way. Are you slow, cool, low, and slow? <laughs> oh, I'm a low and slow. Yeah. Do you have a nice smoke ring? No. <laughs> it's a ring, but it's in the middle, ring. but it's crust. But it's I'm crusty pink. on the outside. <laughs> so, I, I mean, how long? Obviously, it's an 80 minute massage. What do you do when you get there? You get there, you check in at the desk. Somebody will take you downstairs um, to your respective room. They'll give you a short tour. Um, you get your own private locker which has your towel if you want slippers they'll give you slippers um you get changed and you have the whole time from the time you check in to the time of your treatment and then even after whatever your treatment you're getting where you could just hang out in the spa area downstairs they have full showers with the disney soaps toothbrush you name it you can get like totally prepared there like what i did is i took a, some clothes in a bag went down with my bathing suit and I was meeting people for lunch right after. So what I did, I was able to get my massage, take a nice long hot shower, change, 
brush my teeth, you name it. They have toothbrushes, you name it. It's there for you, whatever you need. It, it, think of that like if your Disney room came with everything you would ever need to get ready, including deodorant, mouthwash, you name it, it's there. How do you go about booking one of these? You can call, um, there is a number for it. I don't know it off the top of my head, I'm sorry. But you can definitely go online, and either spot can be booked, from what I understand, from the same telephone number. Mm -hmm. But from what I understand, I haven't checked out Grand Floridian. I don't know much about it. But I do know the one in in the Springs is really nice. Saratoga Springs is super nice. Yeah, and there's also... Scott, we'll dig that number up. We'll put it in the show notes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we don't have, we have show notes. notes. I was just going to say good luck with Actually, I, I think it's uh, 407... I almost said four. W It is. No, I think it is. The right. No, it's not. It is. It's it's four zero seven WDW dine. Uh, because I actually just booked my wife uh, a spa appointment. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm not gonna lie. I just book it there. Usually, when I'm booking one, uh, when I'm finishing one, I'm booking. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And if okay, I just if you can't get through there, you can always call four zero seven nine zero six four six nine eight. Well, you can, but that's not going to get you to the spa. No, but it'll get you to the hotline for Three Sheets Nation. <laughs> it will. And then and then Mikey will give you a massage. Mm. Uh, hey, for the price we'll they're leave charging, a message. yes, I we will. Can't afford, we can't afford those lawsuits. <laughs> nope. It, it, I, Mikey I will, will either I will give you a massage or leave you a I message. Will... You know, I get those spellings of those very confused. We, we got a lawyer uh, on hand, so screw the lawsuits. <laughs> right? I, I'll rub you down and I'll go bork to bork to bork. It'll be a Swedish massage and we're all going to come out of that happy. We actually have a, f- a few questions. Are you using olive oil or extra virgin olive oil? <laughs> Uh, the answer E-V-O-O. is yes. I, I watch Rachel Ray. It's all about that EVOO. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I apologize. All right, but speaking She's of other bougie 58 things. 58 with a tip mole. Speaking of other bougie things, Tim and Adam, you did some something pretty grand. Yeah. Something well, we also something that if we you... Petted a rhino, we petted a rhino. You petted a rhino? Yes, we did. You motherfuckers. We did up close with rhinos encounter. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. How was that? fucking mind-blowing. It was like one of the most amazing experiences I've had. Was it a, a, a white rhino or a black rhino? White. Yeah. Nice. Right? Yeah. It's That's one of only a few left in the world, actually. Yep. That's a black rhino. Well, they're, well they're, actually, they had they're the most actually... population out of all the rhinos. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go backstage to the, the rhino barn, and it's literally right next to the cheetah barn, so you actually get a nice little glimpse of cheetahs right next to Really? Yeah, that was. Yeah, now that don't really make cool. any sense. was just pacing back and forth, right? The of whole time. Of course they were. They're like, yeah, the mm, cheetah's lunch. Like, I can fucking take that rhino any day of the week. You want to go right now? We'll go right now. I'll run down <laughs> their back and I'll still split your throat. My well, he was probably looking at the softer flesh that was staring. At yeah, him. I was gonna yeah, say, like oh. all of us going, "Ooh, wow. is that a cheetah?" Can you pick the <laughs> He saw the prime age ribeye right there in front of him. But <laughs> but they they got the rhino right up to the fence area mm-hmm. and then she was feeding him alfalfa and we could go up to a pediment it feels like a wet football holy shit yeah, interesting amazing, dude it was a lot it's it was, it was it's like, it's 30 bucks i would totally nerd out on that thing right there it, it's 30 bucks they but when you first take the little bus behind scenes they walk you into the area and they show you the whole enclosure area and where they keep all the rhinos they explain to you their conservation efforts the repopulation efforts that Disney's been a huge part of by actually shipping some of the rhinos that were born overseas and back to where they actually are natively from to reproduce in the area. It, it's just, it's definitely worth Animal it. Animal Kingdom actually definitely has worth the stud it. book for the white rhinos. One of the stud so books. Can you, can you go to Animal Kingdom and get that done? Or you gotta put that yes. earlier? I would try to book it earlier if it's something that you're truly interested in doing. Yeah. Man. But there is a little booth right by the um, safari. Right by the safari entrance that has all the animal encounters that you can Really? Do. That's... And um, Brent and Sydney talked us into doing it. And they already did the elephant one. They said the rhino one is a lot better than the elephant one. You're going to convince me of shit. That sounds amazing. With this experience, your, your guests have to be four years or older. I think Ethan would love this. Yeah, I think he would. Either he would love it or be in time. I know. I think he. I, I think he'd love this. He loves getting up close with animals. This is a big ass animal. Yeah, I still love it. And, it. and it had the full blown horn, right? This wasn't yeah. one yes, of those. Yeah, sure. It had okay. a dual horn. It actually it actually had two horns. I oh. I I might nice. I might broach this like a double buck. <laughs> 
Like a double bock. Exactly. Double your bock. Double, double your horn. <laughs> and they, were, they were telling us the reason why they do it with the white rhinos is because the white rhinos are the only ones that like to be touched. Hmm. I don't know. We were on safari one time, and we got attacked by a white rhino. The bus got ran by, almost got ran by a white rhino. Mm-hmm. I- it was, like it, was almost it, was a, it was the best safari I've ever been on. That sounds really cool. That sounds awesome. It, it was amazing. It, it doesn't sound very bougie. Wrong. No. $30. That's $30. not bad at all. It was $30. It was maybe, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, an hour. Really? An hour. Yeah, the price. It, yeah, it's the really piece short. piece of art so. done by Joe Rody. I mean, because, I mean, Animal Kingdom is amazing, but it's, to me, it's still half a day park. That's something to add on to it right there. Yeah. It, it, it's and we're all about doing, doing now the little extras that you don't normally think yeah. about. So uh, if you do want to go check out the uh, the Up Close with Rhinos tour, it is it, normally it's $40. It's $30 with AP, DVC, uh, Chase Disney Visa discount. It, honestly, <coughs> that sounds like a bargain for something that's an add-on yeah, experience that we, that we kind of talked about prior on uh, episode 44 when you plus your Disney trip. Totally into that. As we get in on the the bougie stuff of your trip, the really grand thing that you guys did was look way back on episode forty one, uh, Tim's favorite episode in the butt bob. <laughs> you, Adam had I, I think it was yeah Adam booked the grand Probably one <laughs> on episode forty one, but you guys finally did it. Yes, we did. You guys finally got out on the grand one yacht. Let's talk about it. It's awesome. There's no other word to put it. I, I can't. 52 foot Sea Ray. I forgot what model it was, but two staterooms, two heads. The thing had, you go upstairs in the flybridge and there's, the seats were air conditioned. I mean, mm-hmm. you can sit there and have cold air blowing in your back. That literally is the bougie of bougie. <laughs> we got the, uh, we ordered drinks and food. Um, we had a bottle a of McKellen, Jack Daniels, Woodford. <clears throat> yeah, there's some vodka and tequila there. Tequila, vodka. vodka. And then each... each Picklebacks. We had picklebacks. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. <laughs> we, we, we ordered the, the food. Um, you get four mixers with each type of alcohol. And James like, I need pickle juice. And the lady was like, okay, I can get you pickle juice. <laughs> and he was actually shocked when we got on the boat. There was a jar of pickle juice. Sitting there. Disney will literally cater to anything. <laughs> okay, oh, wait. Boy. It gets better. It gets a lot better because we had a slight issue because we wanted to do shots of tequila, but there were no oh. shot glasses on board. Mm-hmm. So Brett makes the boat turn around to go get back. And no, get we didn't. We didn't make them turn around. They they turned around the boat and and flat out. By the time we got back to the dock at Grand Flow, there was a girl standing on the dock with a sleeve of. Plastic shot glasses. What? Shot Plastic glasses. shot glasses. Yeah. Wow. That's bougie as shit that right is, there. That, no, no, no. <laughs> Kyle, that is like the ultimate bouge fest right there. Not That's only, bouge right not there. Not only did your personal boat driver, your captain, turn the boat around on his own. Your the, chauffeur. The captain of the boat is head of uh, Disney Nautical. So anything that happens mm. with the, the ferries, the... Friendship boats. It's he. he so your Disney, captain was the guy in head of everything. Disney nautical. Wow. Disney nautical. Not the Disney boats, but Disney that's what, nautical. nautical. That's what he nautical. was described to us. That's as. bougie enough, right there. No. God damn. Not only did they turn the boat around, take you back to the dock, but there they are, white glove service, and they have a sleeve of your own personal shot glasses for you. The boat didn't even. There dock. you go, he assholes. Up. Okay. He just backed up. To be up. honest, she passed they had too. a little. They had a little problem finding shot glasses, so they were actually expre- pl- paper espresso cups. Yeah. That works. But they worked. Works. <laughs> For shot hey. Dude, if, you're doing, if you're doing shots, the quality of the shot does not matter. Hey, exactly. Adam, you know, Adam. Shot glass, communion cup, it's all the same. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But they tore apart the place looking for shot things that we could use as shot One glass. ounce is like, one ounce. Unless you're taking rum in a, in a road soda, then don't use a styrofoam cup. Why not? Nope. It Don't put Captain Silver in it because it'll come right at the bottom of it. Yeah. Oh. It melts the styrofoam. Oh, yeah. Uh, Don't drink rum. All right. So, so what did, what exactly? <laughs> let's go through the kind of like the, excuse me. Let's go through the charted course of this Grand One yacht. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was drinking, so yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, we were drinking, and we weren't really paying attention where we were going. I know we'd circled Bay Lake a little while, and then we went into um, Seven Seas Lagoon, and we drove around there for a while, and then by that time, fireworks were ready to we start. We watched the sunset, which was awesome. Sunset. You definitely hit Seven Seas Lagoon because you got spotted by uh, one Sean Clifford from the Poly. That was when we were Hot pulling out. Because yeah. yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody really knew what was going on. And, okay. he's, and, and he's like, he looks up and he's like, I see some sheeters on a big boat. <laughs> and, and if you ever seen us in the wild, we're not exactly quiet people, mm, especially when no there are a lot shit. of us. <laughs> sheeters assemble. I believe I heard that called out once or twice, <laughs> multiple times. But it was, we were really loud. And at one point, um. It was a like a party barge, yeah, one of the like pon- one of the, the pontoon, boat, boats. pontoon boats, and they had a happy anniversary sign, so we just started screaming at them happy anniversary from our. And then boat. they docked <laughs> up, and it was just a shoal <laughs> shindig. No, no they, because they, was, when you, was there a boarding party? <laughs> when you <laughs> when you take the Grand One out for your fireworks cruise for happily ever after, it has its own spot mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. Seven Lagoon that the other boats cannot. Go near. So the other boats have to stay away when the Grand One is really, the yeah, yeah. Kyle, That's on a awesome. scale of one to bougie motherfucker, how bougie is that? Bougie goddamn motherfucker! <laughs> you don't come near my boat. <laughs> Back away, my boat. Go away, my peasants, boat. Peasants leave. Yeah, we had a butler. <laughs> That's I some saw Game that. of Thrones shit I right saw there. That you had. That's right. <laughs> Call me Cersei Lannister, bitch. <laughs> you had you had your own butler. Uh, now the food on the the food on the boat was kind of like finger food snacks. Well, it, there was a menu that you could order, mm-hmm. and we picked through it before we went. And like, all right, we don't want anything that's going to be too ridiculous to handle on a boat. So it was like crudite platter, cheese platter. By the way, pot stickers. Uh, there was something okay. else. Charcuterie. By the, yes, there was a motherfuckers. It, it comes with soda and chips, but I don't think any of that was touched. No, I it like soda and chips because I'm it was mixer. It was more so. mixers, and we had cookies. Oh yeah, and where those somebody was passing around either. all the popcorn. Yeah, a, I remember having some popcorn. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> we got really. Fu- I got really. Drunk. <laughs> yeah, got Kyle's pissed. Stuff. You got fireworks. Your own parking place and popcorn. Okay. I had fucking the cellier. Right. I had the cellier, man, so I'm good. But the fireworks, the spot for the fireworks is crazy. It's absolutely fucking insane. And literally the electric light pageant, the electric water pageant passes right in front. That's fucking... Like, you can almost now, now, touch now, it. Now I'm yeah, that's... That, it. That, <laughs> it came by like three or four times that night, too. Now, yeah, we kept... Now, it felt like it. we were chasing yeah. it around. Now I'm seriously jealous. The fireworks, fireworks aside, I mean, because look, while the fireworks is great... It's it's a good fireworks show. It's a it's a wonderful place to watch fireworks from from on Seven Seas Lagoon, but passing by that close to the electrical water pageant, that's got to be really cool. Yeah, it's cool. really you don't realize how actually big those floats they're are. Huge. You're that close to it, going they're amazing. Dude. Oh and it's, shit! It's, it's loud when you're that close to it. I want to say yes. Well, it's first very of all, loud. I want to say those floats are each like twenty to thirty feet wide. They're big. Well, and they're also yes. tall. So tall. They're very tall. It's 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 crazy. Yeah, I want to say yeah, I want to say they're really like long. they're like ten by <laughs> twenty or ten by thirty. They're they're huge. Sure. They're, they're, I didn't realize how huge they were actually were until I like got that close to it. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> zing. And I I don't remember getting off the boat. But I do remember going up to Top of the World after for one last drink. Oh shit! The, you know I don't remember getting off the at? boat either. At La Cellier. <laughs> probably. Not. Yeah, probably. You, you were leaning up yeah. against a, a, a bar watching O Canada. <laughs> no, I don't watch I remember having shit. cigars at Top of the World. Mm-hmm. That's fucking it. That's all yeah. I remember. <laughs> no, I had plenty of fun afterwards. <laughs> Well, look. It sounded like the uh, the Star Wars race was a lot of fun. Yes. No shortage of uh, of good times. No shortage of bouginess. Apparently, well, they were a force. That was the bougiest of bougie yeah. right there. 
And, and definitely, Tim, you're right. It's once in a lifetime. I mean, that's something that you don't get to yeah. do every day. Um, look, we talked about it on episode 41. It's not cheap. And if even if you split it, it's still expensive as hell. But on a scale of 1 to 10, how worth it is it? 11. There you go. It's spinal tapped. Yeah. Yes. Totally worth it. If you can if you can manage it, we can swing it. I mean, you can get it cheaper if you don't do a fireworks cruise and just take it out for like an hour or so. But the fireworks cruises was what jacks the price up. And we, we were out there for three hours. Well that's like renting a limit to go to the gas station. Three hours. Oh, yeah. Good lord. Well a lot of people a lot yeah, of people well, go you know. and they'll rent it for proposal. For an engagement party, I guess it holds it holds eighteen people without the butler, seventeen people with the butler. Oh yeah! And let me tell you, seventeen people on that boat was crowded. I was gonna say, it, look, it's a fifty-two foot yacht, but seventeen people in that space is still pretty. Well, especially when you watch fireworks and everybody's on that back deck. Mm-hmm. Like a bunch of people went upstairs because it was not, you know, it was, it was pretty tight. Mm-hmm. People were sitting on the stairs, but it was worth it. We had a lot of fun. Well, look, it looked really cool. The boat looks awesome. Um, Thanks for sharing the video. Because, look, you don't have to go live in that scenario. You don't have to watch three phone. But I want to thank you guys for doing that, for going live, for sharing the pictures, sharing the videos with us. Mere mortals that were sitting at home and recording episode 110 while you guys were doing it. Well, maybe if you didn't call people old so often, (laughs) you might get invited to these things. I didn't call you old. Not you. (laughs) We didn't call you old. And, and you were experienced. Really? You're experienced. Really? Uh, you are a grizzled elder. <laughs> oh, 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 because um, I think, what did you say? You the shall adults not pass. Were, the adults, what, the what, adults what, are away so we can the play. The adults are away so we can spend all the money, I think was the exact quote that was used. No, the adults are away so we can have fun. <laughs> no, that's not what was said. We could spend all the money, and look, there's food in the fridge. <laughs> well, we didn't have to empty out the yoo it, it sound It sounded like you guys had a lot of fun. It was a great week. Yeah. It was a blast. Little lightning round here. Best meal you had during the trip. Tim. I'm going to be flying fish again. Yeah. Did you have the Wagyu there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. And the pork belly. So I'm do, still pissed do, do they still have the have quail egg on top? Nope. Oh, no, damn it. Not. Damn it. I mentioned that to our server, and he's like, oh, you remember that? I said, yeah, when you guys first reopened, I had the one thing I wanted, and it was gone after the first year. He's like, yeah, no. They had that. So everybody keeps asking the chef to bring it back. They had that at Artist Point back when Artist Point was a real restaurant, and it's one of the tastiest things I've ever had. It really is. It was still really good without it, but that just cracking that yolk over that... Yeah. Pork belly was so good. And, and the best part about it is that the, the quail egg kind of like semi like cooks on top of that pork belly. So it's like soft boiled and perfectly like, or soft like fried, whatever it is. It was. I yeah, because the, the, the it's, it's, egg whites were cooked, but the yeah, sunny yolk side, was sunny still, side up. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Sunny side up. I don't know. I just, I, I know how to cook my eggs. I don't know what they're called. But it's sunny side up, apparently. I knew it wasn't soft boiled because soft boiled would look different. Soft boiled is the where it's like it's still completely yellow in the inside. Was it poached? No, no, it's no. It's sunny it was more up. like a sunny side yeah, up. Yeah, sunny side up. It's sunny side up. But it just it just, all that flavor just melts. Bring it back, Disney. Bring it back. It, it just it gives that extra ri- yeah. richness to that. Nice egg. great bottle of wine. Stayed out of the rain because it poured the whole time we were in there. Adam, what about you? Best meal. Again, yeah, it has to be flying fish, hands down. It never disappoints, and I'm I'm a big seafood eater, so I I don't remember what I had for my appetizer because again, drinking. Mm. And I do remember I split scallops and sea bass. Ooh, sea bass is good. The sea bass was like butterly good. I it think, was, I think oh, Andrea had that many many awesome years too. ago. She had sea bass or halibut at flying fish. It was ridiculously well, good. Well, their old menu used to be it used to be a potato crusted sea bass. Oh, the one with the scales. So actually yeah. potato Yes. 
That's oh, gone. That's long damn it. gone. I know it went to a different restaurant, but I don't remember which restaurant it ended up going to because I remember seeing it on the menu. It's a, it's on the menu somewhere because I made that recipe somewhere else. Yes, but it, it originated it at yeah. that restaurant. Kyle, what about you? But, yeah, Best meal of down. the trip. I don't know because I'm fucking starving, but the Le Cellier, uh, we went there and uh, got a steak. Of, we got a, some kind of ribeye bullshit, mm. but we got the charcuterie board. The charcuterie board basically is all pork. Some kind of, uh, some kind of like uh, pork head cheese, bologna kind of thing, pork fat, and some bread and cheese. Out fucking standing. They do have uh, pork terrine, which is basically like a moose pork. That's probably what it was. I can't remember the fucking name of it, but it was outstanding. It is outstanding. Was it phenomenal? It was phenomenal. Drink. Outstanding. It was Dumbo worthy. It was fucking <laughs> Diet Coke worthy. Mm. It was fucking everything worthy. It was outstanding. Again, I was starving. They have a good meal before between the half marathon and then, but it was outstanding. It was great. And Doing I good. am so disappointed nobody said the cheese that comes in the box. Oh, the race that cheese? That at the end of the run Disney race. That's, the race I, cheese. Oh, here's the deal. That's the best thing after the race, but not after the race. Not real I mean? food. I, I'll but be I honest found, with you. You can, you can get that cheese. If you have a, 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 Ollie's in your town, you can go get that cheese for like three for a dollar. The, the cheese and pretzels are better than cheese and chips. Yes. Yes, definitely. The, I, even I though they're gluten-free gluten pretzels. pretzels. Listen, the 5K yes. I ran last <laughs> they're year. They're actually good. The gluten-free pretzels, I couldn't tell. Yeah, they are. You can't really. They're just a little drier. They're they're amazing with the cheese. Are they dots pretzels? No. <laughs> no, they're, no, they're, sni- they're Snyder's. They're Snyder's. Some Pennsylvania pretzels. I am so almost done with my bag of dots. It's, it, oh, it's mine's just long gone. <laughs> I know. I, Mine listen, is gone, and Tim's is gone. Don't we we have happened. done really well since we opened it about two weeks ago, and I'm, I've got about a quarter of the bag left still. I don't think ours. Mine didn't make it through Mikey, January. Every no. time I, I have to <laughs> physically make. I mean, like mentally, I have to stop eating it. It's not like I finish. I have to stop myself eating it, zip <clears> it, <throat> put it back in the pantry. I don't think there's one thing left from that. I have half That's my fine. chocolate bar still. My chocolate bar is gone. I haven't there's touched my chocolate bar left. yet. I only have my uh, Kirkland's bourbon only because the Kirkland's that. Derek originally brought me back in the sheet up of <coughs> November of 2018 is still un, is still unfinished. So I still have the uh, the, the oh, we, we have a bottle of Kirkland left. We have an open. Table. We have a I bottle. I still have the left, raw, but we have one one bottle. I still have the raw bottle. I've got about a finished. third of the bottle left of Kirkland's and the full chocolate bar. No chocolate bar is done. I don't think there's anything left. I ate everything. Yeah, it was good. It taunts me. I'm I've, good raw I've still got my Funko. I haven't eaten it. <laughs> eaten my Funko pop yeah, well, yeah. Oh, I should hope not. I still got my Funko. You took him out of, of the box. I did. Oh That's God, Adam's is whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you can't take him out of the box. Fuck, uh, dude! God damn it, Scott! And that's the fucking Keyblade that's one. That's the one that I, we wanted. Still, my Funko's out of the box. It's now ruined. I, yep. I don't collect shit. I, I, I wanted the. Well, you uh, should have gave it to the people well, who do collect like, shit. Little bourbon, your little fucking whiskey thing, that you collect some shit. Not, not yeah. one bottle yeah. is unopened. You collect though. I drink it eventually. Mm-hmm. Eventually, well, I, sh- I yeah. share it and drink it. Tim and I, Tim, no, he Tim and Adam come over and they drink. Uh, it. <laughs> you're not a real. You're not a good nerd. I'm sorry. It sounded like you guys had a lot of fun at the uh, the Star Wars races. It was. I'm going to go ahead and call it a phenomenal weekend. Yep, man, I'm here. This is it. This is all I have well, left. Well, savor right it, now. Adam. Don't savor it. Because I have. Because if you keep on saying that fucking word, I'm going to be out of Because there's, like there's plenty more phenomenal to come. I bet I'm done. I don't have to so, work tomorrow. I do. So, look, we invite everybody to go be part of Three Sheets of the Finish Line. It's an awesome group that really promotes the healthier side of three sheets while three sheets the mouse promotes the um what's the word debauchery yeah debauchery debauchery and drinking no bad jokes inappropriate jokes jokes. inappropriate more so the uh, dark dark humor we call it dark dark humor humor. i'm getting yelled at still by that the lighter (laughs) side of of not being oh we we already heard it no there's no light side of that shit man (laughs) 
It was funny. Okay, the heavier side of Disney. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but we do have we do have a lot of fun on both pages. But if you if you do want to kind of you know jumpstart your healthiness, go join the finish line. Ooh. And then when you want to cra- watch it crash, just go back. That's to right. Oh, just try to <laughs> counteract <laughs> counteract the, the shit that happens. In That's true. The regular group. You gotta you gotta stay healthy in order to uh, to be a real cheater. So look, uh, Kyle, thank you very much for joining us on on the episode. We had a lot of fun. But before I give you a chance to, to give your closure remarks, Mikey, let's talk a little bit about Magic Belt Don. Okay. It won't take long. Okay, good talk. <laughs> that was it. All right, good deal. That's awesome. That was amazing. I was thank very you. informative. I'm, I'm thank known you for, so much. For being, uh, an expert uh, orator, man. Listen, if if you missed the sell that happened, uh, I guess it was over the week last week. Uh, you you kind of missed out because uh, we had uh, a lot of shirts uh, moved. Um, you know, I haven't got anything new in about two weeks or so, but I got some stuff uh, in the pipe, looking to come out. Maybe some uh, some Star Wars themed stuff. Maybe some. Old school, 1990s cartoons you watched after school kind of stuff. That's if it isn't if it isn't Darth Wing Duck, then I don't want it. I, it's it's not no, currently Darth or... Wing Duck, but now that you threw that at me, it may be. Rescue Rangers. <laughs> uh, no, Mikey. I think I think Tim and Adam can help help you out here. Uh, Baby in a Bar was a big hit. Oh yeah, it was. Yes, was it? Oh yeah, it was all over the place. Every there was several babies in the bars in, in this week, and people asking, you, "Where can I get that shirt? Where can I get that shirt? I need that shirt for <laughs> my kid." I want you. I want you to upgrade it to baby in a lounge now too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Colliers had Reagan in. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, what was the other lounge at yacht at yacht club? Oh, the uh, Mar- Martha's Vineyard. Ellen Martha Compass. Ellen Compass. Ellen Compass. Okay. Ellen Compass. Compass. So she ha- when she got there, she hashtagged baby in a fancy bar. <laughs> <laughs> baby in a hey, bougie listen, bar. There's no there's no limit to our bouginess here at Three Sheets. Uh, apparently not. No, it's, I, look, you train them young. It starts with our kids. We, are, we make our kids bougie. Uh, I do want to um, mention that... Um, the order for the Nautilus T-shirts has been received by uh, Forte Clothing, so they can begin printing those. And as soon as I get them, I will start shipping them out. So I don't really have an ETA on on getting them because uh, they, you know, they they took a, a summer vacation or spring break vacation there when the order got sent. So it kind of it kind of set, but. Um, it, it's gonna it's gonna ship out. They're gonna look amazing, and I can't wait to get those in the hands of all the sheeters who uh, who took part in that charity fundraiser. All the sheeters who lost to the Lapa Lapa. That's right. <clears throat> We're not mentioning names. <clears throat> Sean Clifford. Yeah, you know, with regards to the Nautilus and the Lapu Lapo and that whole business, you know, and the Nautilus lost. I'm just gonna put it like this. You know, I'm just gonna say in the immortal words. Of George Herman Ruth. Remember, heroes get remembered, legends never die. All right, well, look, I want to thank you all for joining us this week on Three Sheets the Mouse. If you enjoyed the show, please, we'd love to have you go to go over to iTunes, rate, review, subscribe. That's how you let us know how we're doing. We, we read them, we look at them, we kind of take input from you there. So if you want to uh, give us some advice, Rate and review and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We're at Three Sheets Podcast. If you're over in the parks, tag us on your Instagram at Three Sheets Podcast. But don't forget to use the hashtag Three Sheets Nation. It's cool. It's happening. It's things. It's uh, it's, it's things. things. It's fetch. Don't make it's that fetch. fetch. 
It's not. It's not a thing. It's no, so something. I, I I had a couple conversation about that at the sheet up. I don't <laughs> of remember. Of course how you it did. Went, though, so. <laughs> Basically, the theme of the sheet up was things happened. I don't really remember them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's basically every sheet up. Pretty much. But if you really want to interact with us, head over to our Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash three sheets. That's where you can become part of three sheets nation. Um, just make sure you answer the questions when you when you join. We've had a number of people do so a more more people have answered the questions this last month and a half than have not. And I'm very proud of you all. You have done well. You have it. Woohoo! Go team! <laughs> so come hang out with us there. If you have if you have friends that love Disney as much as you do, invite them to join Three Sheets Nation. But again, if you invite them, tell them to answer the questions because sometimes they won't, and we have to deny them. So look, uh, as we finish up tonight, Kyle. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us this week. It's been a lot of fun. A pleasure. And I'm going to give you your chance to give closing remarks on Three Sheets the Mouse. On three sheets to the mouth. Holy shit! What can I fucking say? You three guys sheets to the mouth. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, I heard fucking, yeah, yeah, I don't hey, know. Some, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> we get a little <laughs> mouth. <laughs> he, he, he caught a lisp. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. Yeah, he's Robert Crafton over there. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking wasted right now. Goddamn, just my life. Three sheets to the mouth. Goddamn. <laughs> the place yep, full of fucking it. fun, dark jokes. <laughs> Dark jokes and dank humor. <laughs> yes. Bad stuff going on. But again, like run Disney kind of events. Uh, it's probably the best thing. To, if you're a beginner runner and you, you want to think about doing something, run Disney's a place to be. No pressure whatsoever. Yeah, you got to do the whole 16 minute, 16 and a half minute. What is it? 16 minute. 16 minute. Fucking pace. That's easy shit. Yeah, I, I was going to say, if you can't do a 16 minute mile... You can walk that. If you you can walk that. Okay, if you want to do a run Disney event, if you want to do an event, run do run Disney. No pressure whatsoever, except from the people in the crowd beside you flicking you off and calling you <laughs> fucking names the entire time. Because or if you're our Kentucky Kenyan Adam Holt. Uh, yeah. Oh God. No. No. He's he's he is Adam Holt oh. is in a different spectrum than us yeah. no because that's not true because we had a few b placements and a placements that we were hanging out with in our run disney group. that's true but adam holt is like a you know negative adam holt he's like yeah. an a above he's a beast yeah. he's like there's like there's like a elite and there's like a and like a plus and elite he's a plus pretty yeah. much yeah so yeah adam you're awesome but fuck you <laughs> <laughs> pretty much i you know but nice I'm kidding, buddy. Business. You're doing a fucking great job. I, I envy you, everything you do. But go run. All the good awesome. shit. Awesome, awesome. And thanks for having me. Hey, look, we, we loved having you, and we'll definitely have you back on at some point. Holy shit, you fucking had Of course, no. <laughs> no, we're having fun. God. That's fun I, shit. I need, to try, I need to try harder next time. <laughs> well, we got to run the papers through HR and see if they come back okay. So it, you got to get you your know. background check first. No oh, fuck. I'm Kyle, to your credit, you haven't slapped the ass of a stormtrooper, so you're not banned from the show. Well, sh- <laughs> I did slap the ass of Ida Norso, so he he fondled BB-8. He did fondle BB-8. Tim, give me some closing remarks tonight. This trip was, I mean, they're all amazing, but this one was amazing. We the run Disney groups, the run Disney races that we're doing, just they're like the sheet ups. They keep growing and growing. Like more people come and join us and do the races, and Dopey is turning out to be. Insane as well. Stupid. Yeah. Well, stupid, yeah. But stupid dopey, yo. <laughs> hey, sure. Hey, you know I what? Know you guys, how many you guys choose exactly that. Exactly. Are have joined us to do dopey, but there's a good handful now. More than what I think did Star Wars. Sarah Ford just signed up tonight as we record this. She signed up for the 10K yeah. there. It's going to be insane. So I think we need another batch of shirts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> stupid dopey. Your work is never done. All right, Mikey, give me some closure marks tonight. Uh, Tim, Adam, Kyle, I'm glad you guys ran and I didn't. <laughs> uh, I hated seeing all of the photos. I'm sure it was a wonderful time. But for me, it sucked to look at and see my cruise people on a boat without me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about Cheryl, that. Cheryl she said is, the only thing that was missing was you and with Stephanie. you guys, and Al, uh, and 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 Lotso music. 
Um, but you know, I'm glad you guys got to actually take uh, an episode and see it to fruition with the grand one. Um, that's cool. I'm excited that we're going to take another episode and see it to fruition with Party Source Rex. Yes. And uh, mm-hmm. maybe one day we'll get Bo Peep's burlesque sh- show. But uh, I- I'm happy, and maybe one of these days I'll I'll participate in another event at Disney that involves running of some sort. I will not wear the same shoes I wore. I may go barefoot because I don't honestly think it can hurt my feet any more than the bullshit I wore last year at the 5K. <laughs> because I'm fat, and the 5K did me in whole. Heartedly, I couldn't even participate in like the after party at Epcot. Also, it was a thunderstorm. Well, there was also but, a major torrential rainstorm. Yeah, during I, the I after couldn't party. walk around. I was I was <coughs> miserable. I was angry to people. Uh, didn't like it. Yeah. Well, but uh, well, look, I'm excited to hear like all about Party Source Rex when you guys go down there. Uh, if you want to hear how that came to fruition, go back and check out episode 49. Uh, that's where Adam pitched the full-on Party Source Rex, and Disney said, "Hey, yeah, we like that. Where can <laughs> we like that, that idea." <laughs> uh, so, Adam, with that being said, as you look forward to Party Source Rex, give me some closing remarks. Um, I just got to say, I am totally grateful for this group. Everybody we hung out with during the race weekend, y'all got to <laughs> realize we're a team when we run these races, and we. are 120 percent support each other whether you're just starting out or whether you run these consistently and are that a level athlete there is somebody that you can relate to in our running group and whether we're walking with you just to support you through the 5k whether we're trying to pace you whether we're challenging you to actually beat your own personal records there's a place for everybody to fit and I know I wouldn't have finished this half without the support of everybody else. So I just want to say, if you're afraid to do this, this is the most open spot that you will be ever able to make it into. Damn straight. We're not as 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 huge as the, some of the other running groups out there, but we, we make up for it with a whole lot of heart. And if it's something that you're even thinking about doing, a bunch of us are running the Dopey. That doesn't mean during our 5K... That we're not going to be hanging with you all because you know what? 5K is our easy day. So we're going to be, that's the most opportune time. If you're thinking about doing it for those races for Marathon Weekend and you just want to check it out, come down, hang out with us. We're more than welcome to have you there. We had a huge group for the 5K as much as it rained and it sucked. We sat there, we hung out together, we walked together, we talked through the whole race, and when you're running and um, talking with people, it makes those miles go that much quicker. So, if it's something you're thinking about doing, I definitely recommend signing up for the group. There's at least, I want to say 10 to 20 people running every race, and we're already, some people are looking at next year Star Wars. So, if it's something you're just thinking about doing, just try. Y'all cray cray. We're here to help, no matter what it is. Yeah, and look, we uh, we invite you to go over, as we said multiple times during the episode, go over, check out the finish line, check out the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash three sheets. Trust me, if you're interested in the finish line, just Google or just Facebook search three sheets, the finish line, you'll find us, join it, we'll let you in. It's a good time. It's, it, it's a way to stay healthy during, you know, in between drinks at Disney World. So uh, Adam, Tim. Thank you for your kind of trip report here. Thank you for all the tips that you've given everyone as they try to uh, beat their own personal best whenever they're whenever they're exercising, working out, whether it's running at Disney, running at home, whatever. Thank you guys for sharing with that. Kyle, thank you so much for coming on the show. Mikey, your dinner plates are amazing as always. Thank you. I didn't show them. So that's what went on where we were in here last week. That's right. You missed out. (laughs) You missed out. So I will say from all of us here at Three Sheets of the Mouse, thank you for making our show part of your Disney life. Thank you for your time this time. And until next time, so long for just a while. And thank you. Ah. Now I realize why I don't drink beer on the show.